that side there. Are you checking your beard? <laughs> yeah. This side is all fluffy and this side is not. Do I? I guess. So. Oh, yeah. I shave it yeah, in the shower. It. So um, I don't. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway. Is this your is this your mirror? Yes, this is my mirror. Oh. I don't see myself unless I'm on Zoom. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Just it is mine too, where I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's what I look like. Oh, oh, oh no. Yikes. Oh, hide <laughs> self view. There we are. <laughs> I don't need to see myself today. <laughs> that off. Great. Very Pretty sure wide. this was the background for my IRS meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely went into. We're not doing any hacking. <laughs> I think it was a class with this. Yeah. <laughs> I went into it uh, when we were doing masks with 819. I did go into a job interview with the like cityscape as the background, the like hero cityscape mm -hmm. as the background, which <laughs> was at least one of the more tame ones we've done. <laughs> they ended up contacting me on Zoom because they had this janky in browser video chat thing that didn't allow you to set the microphone. So, of course, it didn't detect my microphone. And yeah. I didn't have a chat window, so I couldn't talk to the person about <laughs> why my microphone wasn't working. Oh. So I finally had a notepad here that I would just kept. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's why they should teach ASL in elementary school. <laughs> um, cool. Everyone got their character sheets and whatnot? No. No. Um, yes, character me, keeper is sorry, up. I forgot. Post it. No worries. Character Thank keeper you. and dice roller. I only have it because Peter posted it in chat. <laughs> I had mine snoozed to come up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Hey. Right, that's what yeah. I'm doing now. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we just need character keeper and dice roller. Closing up all yeah. of my guide to spirit fairer. <laughs> <laughs> windows oh did i never finish wordle today oh no i got like halfway oh. into it and then just got hey. distracted today's was rough that was oh. me that was me I yesterday have... i think it was where i like got to step two and just like could not figure out a fucking word to make with the remaining letters and what i knew was in what yeah. places finally came where I'm at. i will occasionally dip into a scrabble cheater and be like okay Look, is <laughs> there just tell me sure. what words Lindsay was telling me about doing that yeah i have like three words that are possible <laughs> here <laughs> oh i see that's how I, yeah i i lost i failed today is because like i placed three letters and then there was like a shitload of words it could still be with those three letters oh. yeah, so i was like I'll try, that one. I'll try that one i'll try that one i'm out of guesses oh i've got yeah it's weird i've got three fairly common yellows but they're arranged in such a way that there are very few five-letter English words that like yeah, yeah. thread yeah. this perfectly. I don't think there's any double letters today, so at least that's oh, well, that gets rid of one of my bonus. possibilities. So two words. <laughs> I think my final guess. Uh, my final guess. I wasn't even sure if it was actually a word, but I know it won't let you put in right words. That it doesn't at least consider words. I guess those anyway, because I like there's enough words in the Scrabble yeah. dictionary. I'm just like blurn that might be a word oh it is yeah. okay, oh, i've definitely great. tried i've tried sure. at least one or two that it, it told me it was like that's not a word in my list i was like all right good at least i didn't use up a guess on it then. <laughs> i also have the, like here's a perfect six letter word. why is it <laughs> fuck okay here okay five letters one two three four five six fuck ah. <laughs> yeah one of them i can't remember if it was yesterday's or today's like yeah, i kept coming up with guesses and then realizing that that like no, I already knew like that these letters could not be in those places, but yeah. I kept coming up with guess guesses with those letters in those places. And I'm going, oh, yep. shit, no, I can't, no. Yeah, your brain just like sees and <laughs> fixates on them. I think plays Wordle, so she doesn't have any idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like yeah. she, I feel like she's in a new version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I know. I'm like, okay. I mean, we it sounds the... super fun. I bet I would really like it. I just yeah. haven't. And it's like yeah. once a day, spend like a couple minutes in the morning and then. I don't like, need another, <laughs> another task. <laughs> I think I've got enough things. Yeah. That's my midnight task now, usually, because you know, mm. I wait for it. Like, as soon as it hits midnight, I'm like, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> my, my it's my morning it's my morning snooze they're like wordle klingon duolingo and 750 <laughs> words like, let's get 15 minutes oh uh, maybe it's morning routine <laughs> slowly slowly waking up no nah okay no nah and even though they had Klingon and Duolingo, that's funny. Yeah, they do. I, 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 I learned a lot of it just back listening. To, I went. I <laughs> opened up Duolingo for some reason. I don't remember why. And I was on the High Valyrian track. I'm like, this isn't useful. Hey, what, what, Michael what's first better? Is in chat. Yeah, oh. When am I? When have I ever? Klingon's more High useful Valyrian. than High Valyrian. Yeah. At least I know people who speak Klingon. So <laughs> more, more, more people. I think more people speak it. Yeah. There's a there's across a, the galaxies. Klingon yes. opera that shows up at Gen Con every once in a while. It's oh yeah, pretty amazing to watch. That sounds I, amazing. I don't understand any of it, but I'm sure it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, hey, Mike, first Mike. Bill, how's it going? Oh hey, I should watch the chat more. Um, I put the link in where there. Where did Yay. we oh, leave thank you. off? Oh boy, I think um, things I think... were going really well for us. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you're all hanging out, do. recovering at the uh, uh, at the, the reclam reclamation plant. Oh yeah! Oh, you and were we getting just a got pizza. Yeah, yeah. We were getting so, a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the pizza guy just yeah, you got back pizza. To the, to the <laughs> Nothing went wrong after <laughs> was like, that. He just let yep, us up in. He's gonna have <laughs> some pizza with us. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> We um, pretty much burned our bridges ooh. with Captain Cap. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. no more sandwiches for us. Yeah, he, burned he the bridges not, and his not store. want us back at that shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not just the bridges got burned. Whole front room. Oh, man. That is unfair, like our um, You hacked into the brain of Zigzag. Oh, the, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> the <laughs> other runner. <laughs> After we played last week, Mark was like, you all hacked into someone's brain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yep, like, I did not like plan you do. For that. Great, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about like the the amount. Like, I'm actually planning for this one because there's like a little bit of structure, but like, just like here's some names, and this might happen. I don't know. <laughs> You're like, we're gonna hack oh, into no. this guy's brain. Like, <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's do it. He's our friend now. <laughs> I right. like our, our usual um, our usual method of like, let's make him our friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no matter what the show. No matter yeah. what it is. Even in trophy, that is cap cap. Yeah, that's oh, true. It usually oh, never gosh. works for us. It actually finally worked. It finally worked. Now he's our kind friend. Kind of. In a different way. We didn't know. He's a little bit broken. Someone into a into a nightmare reality, and then you can you make know what? your best friend. I am realizing that it is kind of difficult for me to make friends. And if there is a way, then there's hope. <laughs> I just yeah. need to get one of those little brain jacks. Step one. <laughs> Step one. Step brain jack. Uh, um, let's see, what other stuff did you get? You, uh, you um, also hacked into the other team's communications uh, and overheard what were their names? Uh, overheard Acid Driver talking to Slip oh, yeah. and Ocean, uh, Ocean, Ocean. Uh, about their uh, what they're doing. They're meeting up at Station Twenty Three, an abandoned subway station, um, and they said something about uh, stopping them. Um, right. Yeah, and there's a van full of cops outside that you don't know about. Oh yeah, the pizza cops. <laughs> the pizza cops. <laughs> we... bust, your, bust your for stolen recyclables. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to station 23 then? What was station 23 again? Where that meeting was going down, oh, train station yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what exact type of meeting was going. Oh, we can see my my old friends who I um are totally still friends with. Totally yeah. super friends with. I definitely didn't drive oh, away right. with their getaway car last they're time. Your old team, that's right. Yeah, they're my old team. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be happy to see me. They weren't last time. They slippery. Yeah. 
Mr. Slippery. He's so cool. Um, cool, yeah. Uh, so, um, you are inside the reclamation plant. Um, it is evening. Um, Zigzag is there with you, um, just sort of eating out of the snack machines. Um, how would you like to make your exit? Do you just want to like bust out and um, do it? Or are you uh, taking precautions to? Uh, I would think we. I mean, I would think we try to be sneaky. I would just we can become bust out doors going. We're very. Yeah. Sneaky, yeah. I think at this <laughs> point we're very annoyed just because so much shit has gone wrong in such a short amount of time. Well, yeah, and now we kind of know that like whoever hired us is probably full of shit and has hired other teams to do same. So like we don't have any nobody we can trust. That's yeah, right. mailman has never been a bold fellow and just wants to get out. <laughs> just trying to do one last job. I'm not trying to go do anything flashy. I lost my oh, drone. That's... That's right, and uh, and um, let's see, Static is reckless and rash right now as a result of oh no um, taking oh, some yeah. taking broken. some brain damage from uh, I think it was from hacking into the guy from the blood no because he saw her oh because someone's face head explodes oh, yeah. on you that's right um, and then Numerius is uh, has to uh, be cautious yeah has be cautious. <laughs> or has to avoid aggression. <laughs> Yeah, has to avoid aggression. That's what it is. You, you can Together be smart or crime. empathic. You just can't be aggressive. Um, cool. I think uh, since everyone is doing it, let's make this team action. Um, so the way that's going to work is someone's going to lead. Um, you'll pick your approach, and everyone will roll roll dice for that and uh, add them up. The oh, you know what? I just leading is going to take stress for every fail. I just realized. Yeah, because you mentioned it. I said we were being sneaky, but what happens if I'm cautious and my caution is glitched? Um, you're um, do, 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 do. you uh, go down one die of uh, rolling. I think if you're cautious. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have to be cautious actually, because I was already thinking. Yeah. I was actually thinking I was actually being more smart than cautious. Anyway. Yeah. My initial. Yeah. My initial thought was being smart about it. Um, since the leader is going to take stress, I would probably recommend mailman leading this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm the least stressed out. Let's do it. Um, I'm <laughs> not necessarily leader material, but I'll, oh, yeah. uh, I'll step up. You're Still leading stressed. the action. Um, Very empathetic. So uh, going with aggression and <coughs> caution is going to be uh, problematic for your teammates. But what <laughs> approach would you like to uh, leave the building with uh, so as not to be observed okay so or i'm sorry the scenario is that this guy has just invited himself in with oh, so our the, pizzas so the pizza delivery guy dropped off the pizzas um and then he went back to the van and was like yep yeah. that's the guy that's i the guy yeah and and i noticed when he delivered pizzas i noticed that he had like a gun and, and oh, an earpiece or something and then he's yeah. he's probably contacting others okay yeah i'm trying so to figure like, out a um, Which you know, like delivering pizza in out. this neighborhood, you'd probably do want be strapped. So I'm trying to figure out a way to use empathy. <laughs> Not, uh, talk uh, talk me into it, yeah. I but I, yeah, I, I'm uh, stalling for time because I don't exactly know, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> so what do we we the thing that won't hurt my teammates is either smartness or empathy, and I have more empathy <laughs> than smartness. Hmm um and is he part of the team that i knew um the pizza guy no yeah. he was he was a, a cop he's a cop okay yeah empathy empathy what is empathy like <laughs> um, well empathy Oh, I wonder if empathy is like, um, I empathize with my teammates because mm. they're a little bit fragile right now and recognize that they can't really take much more. Nice. And so, so I your teammates. am going to protect them by drawing the pizza guy away. Ooh, okay. Um, so I might, I think I am going to sneak off and uh, I like leave a little cryptic note 
that's like weirdly sentimental and has a lot of those same dra- <laughs> same drawings I had of like me kissing a shoe. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'll be okay. But I, I wanna like uh, hit, make sure to kind of be obvious to all of the surveillance around as if it is the three of us leaving. <laughs> So I have like two uh, sacks from the factory that I'm kind of like helping <laughs> to, like <laughs> one at a time to the car, <laughs> to get a bow. Um, and then I'm just like um, uh, talking to them. And so I'm just gonna try to draw that away while- so Do you wanna um, do, want do this yourself or do you want- this to be part of a, a team action. Uh, the advantage of a team action is that you get to roll more dice. The disadvantage no. is that you take, you take stress if other people think. I am open to other things. I was just trying to figure out a way to use empathy. Yeah, that's great. And this that's was great. the most empathetic thing I think I could do was to sacrifice myself. <laughs> uh, I bet uh, Peter and Heath, I'm open to other stuff if you want to do a team thing. <laughs> I just thought this was silly and empathetic. And... <laughs> So the idea is you're deceiving them into, into thinking that all three of us are going out where it's just you going in one direction and drawing attention yeah, from us. Yeah, I'm, yeah, really obviously drawing them in a direction other than, and maybe you two are headed in the direction we really want to go, and oh. I'm going to meet you later. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know where we're going, so you know where to meet us up. So yeah, maybe I've left you a note Yeah. That, that tells you. Or you can just like, tell them. <laughs> I, yeah, I, mean, we can, I we can also talk to them yeah <laughs> yeah we, we came up with this plan together I didn't sneak off in the middle again I'm learning my lesson and you do have very high influence and observation which may be handy and yeah trying I just to... know I'm not a fighter and I'm trying to find a way to use what I've got <laughs> um I I'm, I'm super open to other stuff, but I just thought this would be, this is the funniest thing I could think of. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, so if you, you want to try maybe and... You two well, I mean, that could, that could still be a group effort, right? Is that like we all yeah. play a part, her part is doing yeah, that, yeah. and our part is trying to be sneaky and not be seen as we get out or whatever. Yeah, maybe you're, you're, try, you're going a way that is like uh, unseen by surveillance and yeah. it's longer and harder, maybe like through... And it's probably something I would know about with my familiarity. With the, yeah, maybe yeah. you know about some like underground pipes or I know where the vents. sewer grating is. <laughs> yeah, you're doing the sewer grating and I'm doing the like showy, like, let's get up. <laughs> Straight through um, the front door. Straight cool. through the front door. Empathy. Um, I would what does argue it work that's, for that's, no, that works for empathy. Uh, I would argue smartest. that's uh, streetwise with that. Um, you can also make a case for sh- another I'm one. Sure. Yeah, I'm streetwise. Yeah, I know the streets because I'm a mailman. That's right. Um, cool. So the way it's going to work is uh, you will roll three dice. Um, let's see. Heath is going to roll one. <laughs> and uh, Peter is going to roll one. Um, so successes add to thing. the uh, success. Uh Stress is add to the stress. Yeah, stress is add to the stress. I call mine just my move is gonna be called distraction. <laughs> cool. Mine um, is so run away. Run away. Cool. You got that six. All Let's right. see what everyone else got. Uh, nice. That's good. Numerius sneaks off. <laughs> Oh, Heath. Heath, are you muted? Oh, I, I know. Did I? Hello? There hello. you are. Okay, there you are. Oh, did my, not, my roll not go through? I haven't seen your roll yet. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, roll. I see a zero, which probably is not right. Oh, yeah. I guess I got to add a die. That would help. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's rough. That. That's, That's all right. Uh, cool. Wait, where the hell is my roll? There it is. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so success all around. Um, so that's a six. You super do it. Um, mailman, uh, tell me, tell me, uh, what your getaway looks like. This is a super success. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a very redeeming moment for mailman who in the past, um, 
did really just sneak away <laughs> and left their teammates high and dry. But because oh, no. it is like, uh, yeah, made the plan with them. And it looks like, yeah, I've got a, a, a big sack of like nuts and bolts is what I'm pretending is uh, static. And then Numerius, I'm pretending is like some <laughs> a big uh, robot. I'm just assuming Renumarius is taller and thinner. Three raccoons <laughs> in a trench coat. Yeah. yeah. So I've got these and I've been like, just like really carrying on really long, deep conversations with them, <laughs> like yelling plans. <laughs> like they're not going to know what hit them. And it's like mailman <laughs> times a thousand. Like, usually, <laughs> mail, usually mailman's like, don't nobody look at me. Don't bother me. But it's just like, no, we've got this. Pew, pew. <laughs> um just they'll like, never know where we are and it's like just <laughs> driving in a, a new way for mail but usually mailman's like let's not be seen let's just get through the day <laughs> it's like just donuts and um like skidding up walls and stuff so uh just um, making a big show of it is uh is zigzag going with you or gonna sneak out with the others Oh, I forgot. Or is it going to stay behind us? I yeah. forgot about our new best friend. Or you can um, tell him to watch the factory. That's your call. Your call. I, yeah, I don't want Zigzag to get mixed up in our mess. He's already mixed up in it. I know. Maybe Zigzag's, <laughs> maybe Zigzag's with, uh, sneaking out with them. And what are we, what is the meeting we're interrupting at Station 23? Station 23? Um, you don't know. You just know it's the other team of runners meeting up there because they got And we want to tell them that we're all been pitted against one another, but really. Why don't You'll see, could we... see when we get there? Yeah. Is it possible for us to tell Zigzag where we're going and see if he's up for joining us? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Zigzag's like, yeah, I, I think Zigzag's kind of puppy following you a little bit okay. right now because I, cool. I think the i, I think the, the last the last empathy role was a critical so he's just like yeah <laughs> i'm with you like my aurora blew her own head off so <laughs> i guess i'm with you guys. where are we going guys okay. I'm still in a grief fugue well i think there's some some uh some talk about splitting a payment as well so uh that's probably what oh. goes into it so yeah zigzags with us <laughs> <laughs> um cool uh how, how are you sneaking out after so i think after mailman uh takes off um the uh the <laughs> van kind of like you can eat, like we hear like clunk 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 putting away equipment and then like slowly pulls away and starts following them with the with the headlights off um, i feel so. like at the factory maybe like maybe numerous or maybe we all know because we've been in the factory maybe there's a sort of like a, a lesser known way out like where they would Kind of get rid of the uh, radioactive waste, whatever, like in an underground tunnel. Oh, yeah, that would then yeah. be picked up at the other end of the tunnel by waste disposal units or whatever. Oh, yeah, oh no. We, we can go out through the former waste disposal. So unit. much cancer. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, oh, yeah. there's not necessarily radioactive waste there now. Maybe we might have to roll. I don't know. Because, I mean, this fact stuff is valuable. Yeah. yeah. They probably pick it up, you know, pretty. pretty yeah, they'll throw it away. That's what's in the factory. Doesn't just sit down in there. <laughs> this stuff has energy inside of it. <laughs> Not for long. Um, cool. So you're all sneaking out and you're going to run like you at station 23. Uh, mailman, there's a black van following you as you're yes, making your way away. That's what I wanted. Um, it's close. It's dawning on mailman what they have done now. <laughs> and that they are now the target. <laughs> like, oh shit. But see, this is where I figured this portion. Like, I don't know what's going to happen here, but whatever happens, this is probably where I was thinking, like, your influence or observation might come mm. in handy for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to now, um, well, they, they know I'm a part of this team. I can't let pretend to be on my route. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I want to use, yeah, I definitely want to try to use influence or observation. <laughs> I'm not a fighter and I lost my drone. Oh no. Although I do have my gun. Um, Mark, are you asking me what I'm doing or are you just? Uh, yeah, uh, they're, yeah, they're gonna follow you <laughs> until until something happens. Um, yeah. They're, I'm gonna lead them as far yeah. away from the route that I know that Mary's and Static are taking as I can. Mm -hmm. 
but I, I do have plans to meet up with them. So um, oh, okay. And this is police. This isn't another Ritter team. Yeah, this is cops. Okay. And these are corporate cops. They're real cops. Uh, they're probably um, you know corporate cops who are have control of the area. Like they're they're under contract to police the the district that includes this. Okay, let me look at my stuff and see what I got. God, I did a rash thing. Oh, I have a barcode scanner. I'm curious. Like, do uh, do we know our characters? Like, is is there a reason that like the hounds wouldn't basically do our mission for us like if we had say led the hounds to station 23 would they have taken out the other team forces or like some reason i mean they... they're 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 regular cops and runners like yourselves are uh, an unusual threat so like it took a team of them to take down um i uh, think i do um, want to convince since we're trying to protect someone from being kidnapped impulse. right or we're we trying do, to protect yeah. someone from being, being rescued. rescued. Yeah. Oh, you, you yeah, were, we're bad guys. hired to keep someone from being rescued. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly, Gosh. although that sounds like bullshit now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I wanted. To, the, I'm I pretty to sure we were all thing. hired to take each other out. Is what's happening here. I think what I want to do is do what mailman does really well and play the victim. <laughs> and uh, just try to get the cops wrapped up in. Um, Like, uh, yeah, I want to try to, like, <laughs> I want to, like, try to let them know that I'm really worried about my friend, Dr. Tar Tarsus, <laughs> and I haven't <laughs> heard from her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it, is it her, them? Yeah, it's her. Um, I haven't heard from her, and I'm really concerned, and I was supposed to meet up with these people, and I think they're all, I think they, like, trick me. I was just, I just want to, like, waste their time with a really like half truth report that's got enough bits of truth that it pings their system enough that they're like have to keep listening to me but enough lies that it doesn't really help them <laughs> uh, so, so i have like the you? right names and i have like some of the details that happened earlier but um so right uh, now they're just following you in a van how do you want to uh engage them like that um I think I'm going to stop and pretend like my car is broken. <laughs> yes. uh, I, yeah, so I have some like um, fake smoke that I just oh, toss in. You can just pop the hood. And oh yeah, I just pop the hood, like looking at it being like, hmm. Mm. Uh, I think the van like pull, pulls to a stop like a like hundred feet back on the other side of the street and then like Eventually. And then I'm like, hey, hey, a hand, <laughs> hey. <laughs> like eventually someone comes out and is like. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, he's, he's dressed in just like uh, kind of like just black sort of tactical gear, but not like super heavily armed or anything. Oh my like gosh, like a, you know what you, you, you look like, and, you know your way around a vehicle. Got like a, a little stun, uh, stun baton and a pistol. And, and mailman uh, is full and, and, and a badge mode. that's covered up, a badge that's covered up. So, oh uh, my wow oh i thought oh wow you look um, like he pulls you. out a uh, a flashlight and points it in your face like what seems to be the trouble here oh my gosh ah uh, where do i even begin well i mean obviously this and this is minor uh let me tell you that just start 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 like a a, a day from like really mundane beginnings and then <laughs> it gradually leads into like yeah and then like i didn't get the the bowl of votes that i usually get at cap and caps and, <laughs> out and, like, and he said that i had to pay my tab that day anyway what, I, what, I, what i'm really worried about is my friend dr tarsus and and she wasn't she, we're supposed to meet up right after breakfast uh, by the way don't don't get cap and caps eggs and bacon they're not i have a feeling it's not real eggs uh, and but dr tarsus didn't show up and she's always on time and a little worried and i was running into some kind of sketchy guys and they said that they were i don't I, you look like you are are someone who could protect people 
Um, so what is your intention with, with uh, <laughs> flirting? What's, what's, what's the out, what's the outcome you want? Flirting is. I'm trying to. I'm trying to waste this. <laughs> first of all, I'm trying to waste this time and keep him strong. Keep him here long enough for my friends to get away with enough truth that it keeps pinging on his like information mm -hmm. radar. But I'm also trying. I wonder if while I'm doing this, I'm also trying to gauge if he cares enough, we could try to get him in on it too. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be in on it. He's got a straight okay. job. Okay. <laughs> Boring. Um, so they, they already got in a way. So I guess I'm trying to, to point, I guess I'm trying to point him in a direction then. Okay, to, cool. Um, uh, to not at us. <laughs> right. Uh, and immediately not at you right yeah not, not at me not at us uh maybe at another team uh maybe well i think i'm trying to point him at the people that are I, what would be really cool would be to point him at whoever's fucking with all of the teams but i mm. um yeah i don't know i think i'm just trying um, to send him to dr tarsus cool what's your approach um crying <laughs> I think um, I think I flirt and also like get really really emotional. <laughs> so is the ah uh, the uh, old flirt cry all the flirt cry aggressive uh, empathy smartness or caution just aggressive empathy. Um, <laughs> I think I am. I think this is empathy trying to play on his yeah, empathy that. in influence. God damn it! I care. <laughs> try to um, use like my influence to play the victim and like try to um <laughs> i'm trying to uh compliment him with flirting enough that he might step out of his out of the like line of like i know these guys usually don't do above the bare minimum but i'm trying to at least point him in a different direction because the bare minimum would be to stay here and still bother me <laughs> Uh, so that's four dice you got to start off with. Um, Is this making spend... sense? I'm happy to yeah, add no, you're good. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you, want to, do you want to push yourself for two stress to get an extra die? Yeah. Don't do don't, oh, okay, oh wait. Uh, How much be... stress do I have? Uh, it looks like you have four more stress before. Yeah, before I can get end. stressed. All right. I'm fine. Hey, come join us in stress town. <laughs> I know. I'm uh, a little so cocky. Mark, mark off two stress and roll five dice. Oh, sorry. Um, so the what I, I missed i didn't need to do the getting back into it um i think this is going to be just regular level two uh effect uh -huh. and threat it's not going to be anything super bad so do you want to uh raise or lower both of those uh make it a more threat for more effect or lower it for less effect for less threat am i at level two effect are you saying that i'm not very good at cry flirting this this situation like you you want okay. to the thing you're trying to <laughs> like, get you're gonna feel get, like i've got a good thing going you're, you're gonna get I'm normal effect to out of it and it's a normal level of threat so oh um but if you want to I'm treating it, it like a very serious threat <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make it a more threat for more effect you can totally i do i don't i don't think i do i think i we just kind of wanted to get this guy away from us i'm willing to be a little stressed out to put on a good show but I, I don't want any, like, yeah, I don't want any backfiring. We kind of just want this guy gone. But if we can point right. him in a different direction, that's fine, too. Five dice. All right. So many dice. So Playing many the victim. dice. Oh, you got a five. <laughs> OK, so. Uh, oh, good thing. <laughs> so many dice. Because there are a lot of ones and twos and threes and twos. Oh, boy, there is. Um, cool. So. Um, yeah, he, he buys it. Um, he does, he, so he like, <laughs> spends a long time listening to this. Um, and then eventually is like, sir, look, uh, mailman's a he him, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's like, sir, uh, it, it seems like you're not involved in any of this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I understand. I'm sorry for your friend. I, I can't do anything about your friend. Uh, maybe i don't know do file a complaint with someone um i'm really just investigating some stolen uh um salvage uh we got a tip that someone brought a bunch of stolen salvage to this factory to <laughs> reclaim it <laughs> 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 
Denarius. We have, we have <laughs> reason to believe that the person who is responsible is in your car. Uh, is it okay if we look in your car? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've, uh, I've dressed up the, the bag and, with like a little face. <laughs> So I'm, uh, I'm mostly he, like he, he taps really his, banking taps. on this to look really much more embarrassing for male men. So I, I act like really weird about it just to get him to really want to look. And then he does. And it's just like a sack of flour with like a, a face. So he, like he a, taps a robot with like a face. To get the other guys over. Um, and the, the van opens up and like three other cops come out. With, uh, yeah. And they're like one, one, they've got shotguns pointed at either door because they're expecting a lot of trouble. Um more than zigzag was expecting um and the other one covers the uh passenger side and opens that up while uh they're like keeping you a safe distance and, and like, i say please they- don't hurt them <laughs> are they gonna shoot the they're bag of flour only, they're my <laughs> they're like, friends. open up the bags they're like this is this is a bag of garbage this isn't even salvage this is don't call antonio garbage <laughs> okay He's sir my- you're carrying two bags of trash around with you. Those are my oldest and dearest friends. Okay, sir. Um, <laughs> look, I'm t- I'll I tell you what I'm going to do. And I go and I hug him. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. But please don't touch me. Uh, be like, You're not garbage. I'm going to have to stun, I'm going to have to stun you, okay, if you don't calm down. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not <laughs> hugging the, the cop, he's hugging the garbage, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hugging the garbage, but you can still stun me. I guess it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it. Um, this, this is mailman's yeah, one time to shine. <laughs> that, could, that could be your one of your consequences. Uh, um, yeah, you're you're kidding. I was like, this is a waste of our time. Let's fucking go. And you're like, no, please don't get me. Oh, just, he needs medical attention. <laughs> Bob, he, you traumatized him. <laughs> uh, I'm doing and... CPR on the flower now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, one of them just gives you like a little jab with their stun baton. <laughs> 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 and you go twitching on the ground. Um, I think that's going to be uh, just a level Worth one harm it. on you. Yeah, um, give unless it. you want to resist it, if you want to resist it. No, I'm gonna just like I'm gonna take it. I think I think mailman has like realized that they really love performing at this one moment <laughs> they never have before, and they've never really gotten to play the the hero or the victim in this case, and so they do take it a little far. <laughs> have a level one um, harm. Yeah, and uh, oh, I, that's fair. Yeah, so you can just write like st- zapped by cop in there. Oh, you don't just put an X, you just paste it no. out. Yeah, I think I, I misspoke oh, last time. For amazing performance. <laughs> I've added an NPC slot for Antonio. Oh, <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> um, anonymous bingo is typing. Okay, that was Mailband's best moment. Is it in there? Oh, Antonio. <laughs> I don't see anything in your harm slot yet. I put something there. Did I put in someone else's? I don't know. It doesn't say mailman. Yeah, did, you, did you harm somebody? <laughs> oh, no, I harmed someone. I'm sorry. Who did I harm? <laughs> Looks like you did static. Oh, yeah. I just did. I think, I think I did it, but I didn't save it. Oh. Wrapped Interesting. By Stun Gun for amazing performance. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Um, in a random non game tangent. Just got my PCR results back. Negative. Woo! Yay! No COVID. Yeah. Live COVID tests on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> COVID reveal. Yeah. Yeah. COVID. Um, oh God. Uh, COVID sounds reveal like it'd actually be a thing. COVID you reveal do, party. Yeah. Wildfire like starts with COVID reveal party. <laughs> Set the forest on fire. <laughs> yeah. Just because um, they cool, had like, that exploding virus display. Yeah. A pinata. Uh, they, they bang on the hit. side of your. They bang on the side of your van and just like. Cool. Or your car and just like roar out, fucking go back to the factory and see if we can get those other guys. It's time to go in. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the mine cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So y'all can meet up outside of that uh, abandoned train station or underground, uh, whatever entry you feel is appropriate. Um, I imagine. Uh, you have to go in uh, through, you know, some other 
uh, shut down, uh, shut down access point and sort of make your way through uh, some tunnels to get there um, where there's like uh, you know, uh, service closets and little, you know, machine rooms and stuff in there. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. So there'll be a, a bit of traveling underground to get there, um, but you can approach that however you want, um, be as cautious or not as you want. Um, how's that going to go? Are you going to wait for mailman to get there? And uh, I'll go in together. You're going to go in first. I'm intrigued by going in first just because of the dramatic potential of having mailman come in to a situation that he doesn't I, really. You know, I would normally wait for mailman, but I am a bit rash and aggressive right now. True. <laughs> So I feel like I'm probably like, no, we need to scout it out before he gets here, man. <laughs> I mean, uh, cool. he, so took, he like... took a risk by doing the distraction for us. We need to at least make sure. I'm all for this. Yeah. <laughs> I think mean, mailman still hopped up. Like, okay, but let's stick to the shadows. Let's do a normal <laughs> infiltration here. <laughs> oh, uh, the two of you together are going to be yep. interesting. <laughs> and Zigzag is stuck <laughs> with us right now. <laughs> You think that's really safe, guys? <laughs> um, cool. So um, you're you're moving down a dark tunnel, uh, subway tracks uh, going both ways. Um, it you know clearly is uh, been out of repair for quite some time. Uh, there's rats. There's garbage. Um, there's a little bit of graffiti, but it seems like this is not a place that is uh, normally open to the the casual uh, uh, urban explorer, um, okay. or maybe it is has been, has been altered in some way. Um, and uh, but you can see uh, in down the tunnel uh, there is a uh, light. It, there's like a few regular light bulbs, and then uh, like a red emergency light that gives it a weird pinkish glow. Um, there's a there's a platform there, and uh, there are a few um, that there's a you can see from you know a distance that the platform is gated off from whatever entrance there was, um, and there's probably a few doors that may or may not be open over there. Okay. Um, well, I think obviously Numerius is going to very cautiously approach down the, <laughs> down the subway tracks. <laughs> I cannot speak for static in this moment. <laughs> But I think Zigzag's following <laughs> your lead. So okay, yeah. like, what, what do you have to? And I think I'm also trying to scoop out like possible places to hide yeah. <laughs> in the in the immediate area of the station. Um, just imagine Zig Zigzag is trying to learn hacking from Numerius because Numerius is <laughs> the one that is bragging about hacking the most. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have you do an observation role. Uh, it sounds like you're doing it with caution. Yeah. Um, uh, augmented face gate speech vision recon. I think uh, that th that is just going to be four dice with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't recommend pushing, but you you can if you want to. No, I will not uh, push. Um, <laughs> uh, This feels like pretty pretty average threat. Uh, pretty average assist or average um, effect. So if and my effect push, goes down one for. Yes, if you uh, if you have harm there, uh, do you have yeah. harm? I have one harm. Yes, you have brain burn. That's right. Yeah. Um, cool. So it will be a uh, low effect for regular threat. If you want to bump it up to a higher threat for uh, regular effect, you can absolutely do that. Okay, and I'm rolling four dice, and I have to get a six. A six to get away clean. Yeah. To get away clean. I don't think, I think I'll just leave it as is. Cool. I'll go ahead and roll four dice. Uh, Unless uh, Static wants to help in some way. Uh, I would have to <laughs> stress to help, right? Yeah, you would have to stress to help. Yeah, I don't know that no. I can do yeah, that. That's probably, probably not great. Okay. Don't stress yourself Although out. I am a bit rash and aggressive. But, you know. <laughs> Rolling four. I'm not sure that would be helping. Yeah, good. There's a six. <laughs> Yeah, ah, I should have pushed. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got you got your six. You're good. Yeah. Um. Awesome. So yeah, uh, you're able to sneak up um, to a pretty uh, you know 
pretty close range where you can see you uh, and you have a little bit of augment from your uh from your monocle your, <laughs> yeah from your, your cyber monocle um and so yeah you're able to see that the um like we said the stairway up is there's a heavy gate over it um and it is just like full of trash um it's clear that ha has been like probably sealed off from the top makes sense mm -hmm. um and that's just like a place that is not accessible um there is a door that is open uh, at the end of the platform uh, and you can hear voices coming out of it it sounds like several people having um a slightly more than casual conversation um okay. And uh, on the end, closer like to you, semi-formal or <laughs> more not, like <laughs> they're cocktail not really attire. They're not they're arguing, angry. but they're like. I was like, what does that mean? They're a little bit excited. Oh. Um, now is this uh, is this I, at the exit to the factory? Is that where we're at? No, What's you're happening? in the Entrance subway the station. Yeah, you're in the subway. Uh, Numerius is creeping up on station twenty three. Okay, so we are creeping up on twenty three. Okay, that's yeah. Uh, so there's a platform here. You're approaching from the center of the platform. There's an open door at this platform, and there's a closed door here, probably a machine room. Cool. Um, well, let's see. I guess, yeah, I think Numerius would try it, would sneak into the machine room and see if there's a way to um, oh, yeah. eavesdrop on the conversation from there. I yeah. also, yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking Static's first instinct would be like, that sounds like a lot of hackable shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> so many hackables. So for like, our different reasons, we are both going to the same room. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, yeah, great. Um, so you get to the door. Um, not only is it not locked, the door is hanging a little bit ajar off its hinges. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. It's disused, um, and there's enough you know, uh, enough echoey, clanky noises down here that you, uh, all three of you could kind of just slip in. Um, there's not a lot of hackable stuff down here. This is kind of an old platform. So nah. it's mostly like uh, <laughs> machines that do things. Um, but there uh, there are uh, ventilation uh, grates near the ceiling. So if you want to try a uh, some sort of surveillance that way, you can do that. Um, or you can mm. sneak around the front door. Um, it feels better to you. Oh, I have an idea. This would max out my gear, but if I had a small, <laughs> fast drone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this whole time? <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> I, I still have two gear I can check. In he just had a drone in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those, like a drone that you get in your Christmas stocking. It's just. <laughs> all, all sides. Yeah. He forgot that he got oh, it God. like for free with a purchase of something else. Oh, he came with his sandwich. <laughs> I, I actually I think it came, I came with his like newbie cyber meal. deck. His newbie cyber deck came oh, with a newbie no. drone. Newbie Aww. drone. <laughs> Like a little happy meal toy. You're like, oh, I forgot. I got yeah. asked with the That maxes day. out my gear. Although, wait, does the cred count as a gear? Um, it does, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I cannot have the drone as gear then. Oh. Well, I, I still have two gear slots I can do something with. You should get Numerius a little drone. Now I want him to have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I would, yeah, yeah, I think I have a disguise kit. I, I just feel like that's. I feel like I need a disguise kit. Uh, are you planning on using the disguise kit here? I don't know that we know how to use it yet. <laughs> I like that he just added an item, weighed himself down. That's why I have two items left. I mean, now one. I feel like the disguise kit will become in unrelated. I would really like very to have soon. This. <laughs> I don't know what I'm using it for yet. I, I would not check it until you're going to use it. Right, yeah, it's a good point. It's a good point. I just see him like he's like in the tunnel, like on the minecart, ordering it. Hey, right <laughs> on the way, and it's coming with. It's the on drone. the way. It's going to arrive with the drone. Right, I'll cancel that order for now. <laughs> to uh, hear the drone, can, go back. You can still room. have it. We just don't know that you have it yet. <laughs> That's right. Now, we, all know. Know. we all know. We all know. Uh, I could have another drone. Little tiny. Everyone drone. have drones. All right. Full time. 
Let's, but, uh, I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a small, fast drone. Cool. Because it, it does feel like something that Hacker Boy would have. <laughs> for various reasons. And am um, I borrowing the small drone? I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can hack it. <laughs> I think Numerius is going to ask well, to borrow the drone. This would probably be a... I guess it depends on probably be a, a rigging <laughs> role unless you can argue otherwise. So well, that would a little bit better at it. Yeah, but... I was gonna say you do actually have some rigging, right, Peter? Yeah, yeah. I, I have some expertise. In He's it, getting so it, make, it would make sense. It makes sense if you ask. I'll be like, well, you know, I, I mean, it's fine. You've actually driven one of these. I haven't actually read the instructions yet, so I don't even really know how this works yet. Um, yeah, I mean, we need to know what's going on in there. Okay. <laughs> Although I do have less effect on mine. <laughs> yeah, well, Fine. You still have at least a checkbox. I got zero checkboxes. <laughs> I don't even think I've unboxed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it can be any kind of drone you want. It doesn't have to be a flying drone, right? Since we're just deciding what it is. Um, mm. It can be like a oh, little... like a little mouse. A little truck or a little mouse or... I think it's a, a, or, the golf ball but, thing makes me think it's a little... Well, actually, that's Heath's decision if it's his equipment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was imagining a little BB-8 sort of a little BB-8. Yeah. Um, I will go with that with the with the extension on that. That because I'm thinking of like why I would have a drone, what I'd be using it for. I imagine I'd be having something that I could possibly use for like some remote hacking or whatever. So as long as it's like, and I think BB-8 had this, like say a little BB, but it has like yeah. little, little different arms and stuff that could come out that I might oh, need to yeah, use for yeah. like clipping or soldering or yeah. screwing, you know, little. I probably had yeah. a, little, like, a little camera and a little microphone yeah, yeah, yeah. stick out. So. Well, in disco. Um, a mobile hacking. That's a mobile hacking <laughs> drone. Mobile hacking platform. Um, cool. How are, are uh, you approaching this task, Numeri? And what do you? Uh, I assume you want to eavesdrop on the folks over there, but if there's another effect you want to achieve. <laughs> Oh, I can't think of another effect. I think I really just want to send it rolling down the duct, um, <laughs> and then giving us a give, sending a feed to us from from there. Yeah, yeah, it's probably um, jacked into static, so we can yeah see it better. Or, or if you want to do it through your deck, whichever way you feel better about. Um, well, let's send it to static. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. What's um, your approach? Uh, I think this is cautious. Yeah, that sounds um, like it. Yeah. Um, and so probably rigging. Uh, so you get, yeah. you, you get a die for the drone. So that's four dice. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, one uh, effect to threat again. I think unless you want to bump them up. Um, let's try bumping them. Okay, cool. So it's gonna be uh, a lot of threat for uh, standard <laughs> effects. <laughs> and four. What dice. could go wrong? We'll what see. could go wrong? Um, yeah, I think that's unless you want to push. That's it. Yeah, I'll see how this goes. Six, goes six. pretty well. Fantastic. Could not go well. Could go better. Standard yeah. effect. <laughs> Standard effects. Um, great. So uh, you, you know, zzz, zzz, take off the grate. Yeah. Put the little drone up there. Here. Beep, beep, beep. Little little startup chime. Oh, that's um, how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are, and you're piloting it because you got the rigging. So, yeah. Um, so you zoom around. There's a uh, you know there's a, a few drops where the ventilation thing goes off. It kind of like rolls up the wall and it's magnetic, so it sticks to the wall. And <laughs> I think I'm probably I'm probably like holding my deck up in front of him so he can watch the screen. I'm like here. <laughs> um, and it gets up to the uh, grate in the other room, and the little zzz, zzz, camera comes out, a little microphone comes up, a little suction cup maybe attaches to the grate. Um, and you can see the, the images, uh, you know, not HD. It's kind of grainy because it's a tiny little pin camera. Um, but you four by three, three Ooh. people, yes, <laughs> two, uh, 480 by 640. Um, <laughs> interlaced, <laughs> uh, there are three Geek people humor. in there. <laughs> Why does this have motion smoothing? Oh, god, where are oh, the I hate 120 hertz. Nope. No dithering, no dithering on this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Makes everything look um, like a BBC video. <laughs> <laughs> this is pal. Not, oh God. Um, so there's three people in there. Uh, you uh, immediately uh, recognize Oshun uh, because she's not only a hacker but a uh, pop star. It's um, beautiful. So 
and <laughs> she's beautiful. Uh, they obviously, which is a problem when you're trying to be subtle. Recognize the <laughs> um, uh, I, th I think mailman, is it okay for you to come in at this point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, the door behind you opens and after a, a moment of being startled, uh, mailman comes in uh, and <laughs> uh, mailman can see on the screen that yeah. Static is holding up. Um, there's there's your old buddy, uh, Acid Driver, and there's your old not buddy, Mr. Slippery and Ocean, um, who are all fucking... <laughs> boing, boing. Boing, boing. Um, and they are kind of having a tense conversation. They're not trying to be quiet because they think they're the only people uh, within miles of this place. And um, the conversation you make out is basically, uh, A, um, they were going to try and bust out uh, Impulse. Um, he is locked down. Uh, he's, they, the, the term they use is um, they've got him, you know, they've got him uh, zombied. Basically, they've got a, they got into his uh. jack and he's just like, they don't keep him in a cell like they when they just deactivate people's cyberware. They just like stick him in a like a morgue drawer. Um, oh they're just like oh, on, a, on, a, on a static loop. Um, so they're like, we can get him out. I don't know. Time's ticking. Um, we gotta we gotta stop these guys. Uh, we did I that. I don't I don't know who uh, who uh, who called the, the hounds on him. It was um, us. But uh, I've got some ideas. Uh, I, rec I recognize a little bit of uh, the oceans like you know, I feel a little bit of digital fingerprint on there I don't have any leads yet but I have some gut feelings um, and uh, Slip uh, <laughs> Slip is just kind of interjecting he's uh, sitting on a crate he's got sunglasses on uh, uh, and he's got, a, he's got a switchblade that he keeps flicking in and no, out no of course he does uh, no no it's a, it's a butterfly knife uh, does uh, a, so the, oh. so again for Heath, not for Static. As yep. far as as far as we know, these people were going are are to go rescue Doctor Tarsus. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Then I know what I need to do. That's what you were hired for. That's what they were hired for, and we were hired yeah, to well, stop them. You they were hired for that. You were hired for stopping them. Right. Um, then, you rolled a six on your roll, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so after a little bit of back and forth, they're like, all right, it sounds like uh, Ocean, we've got to go with your best guess. Um, I, I don't understand the math, but I trust your instincts and your knowledge of this. So I assume they're going to hit the place. We've just got to meet them there. And, and it sounds like it's just going to be a it's just going to be a clusterfuck firefight. So everyone in uh, and o Ocean and, uh, and um, as a driver put their hands in to do like a team thing. And uh, Mr. Slippery is just like, I'm in. And they're like, ah, fuck, fine. <laughs> um, Static, what is your idea? Oh, no. Remember that disguise kit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Just look like I, me. I think it's time. I think it's time to be Doctor Tarsus. Oh. <laughs> three mailmen. I was going to be three mailmen. <laughs> three mailmen. <laughs> Confusion. Uh, so you're going to try and disguise yourself as Doctor Tarsus. Okay. Um, yes, oh, and we and we. I am. And, and we're kidnapping you. Yeah. There were multiple teams hired to rescue Doctor Tarsus. <laughs> Y'all got to me first. Before cool. the other team so um, you'll have one die for the disguise. Um, what is your approach on this? It's not smartness. I, I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> what? Oh, I think it's super like, smart. I feel like it feels it's like a judgment. Smart. It feels so smart to me. I, awesome. I, I will argue that because I think it's smart as fuck. Because the whole because a it it makes them stop their mission to rescue me because I've already been rescued, and gives us a reason to be there. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, it feels very smart to me. Um, what? I'm gonna say it's either streetwise or survival, which is both zeros for you. 
which is unfortunate. <laughs> Unless you can make a strong argument for one of the other ones. Um, I've got an idea, but it's been a stretch. <laughs> I think I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about this. Hmm. Uh, and other people can stress to help out. If they yeah, want, how much stress hmm. I got? Oh, where is my what? Stress? I, what? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, stress. I, well, for, for I example, can take what, two stress and no more stress. In this <laughs> yeah, world, yeah, about what? Like in this in this world, it depends on what exactly is a disguise kit. Like, is it? Yeah. Does it have Tell electronic components? Or is it because because I'm thinking? I, is it like yeah, a? I'm, I'm always trying Mission to. Mission Impossible uh, kind of. See, well, I'm thinking everything in this world would be kind of techy. Like, I wouldn't think it would be like a rubber mask or some shit like that. Um, you know, I would so think it's like, it would, a, like a like holographic a, projector collar, like or a hollow projector or, or something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so yeah, I'm wondering if I could then use my MacGyvered hacking skill because Ooh. because it's because I need to make this disguise kit better because normally it's just mm. the visage and I need it to include the voice as well. Oh. So you're gonna try and hack it to imp you're you're gonna hack you're gonna avoid your warranty. I'm gonna avoid, well, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Always. Yeah, there's there's no warranty with static. <laughs> that's, that's statics. <laughs> that's statics. Uh, catchphrase yeah. so i've static always yeah. voids warranties the I, default I so. one is meant just for like visuals yeah. so you can, but i need i want to have the whole voice component too so i can talk and be like i've been rescued so since you're just hacking the thing um i think it should be the two hacking dice um but you'll have five dice all together which is pretty good because yeah. uh, you're not like incorporating four, whatever other stuff yeah. um i think uh because of the time pre well how much time do I take doing this? Do you want to try and get it done as fast as possible, run out there, or do you want to? Yeah, hang no, out? I do think I don't. I don't think it's time to dilly dally. We got to get this shit done. Um, so I think it's going to be uh, one effect and two threat, unless you want to bump it up the standard effect and high threat. And yes, I do. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, that sounds great because Five. i'm rash and impulsive yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, unless someone wants to help oh i want to um, help i'm not sure how five dice is pretty good i think but oh, if you okay, want to help, go ahead. i'm not, not going to no, stop I'll, I'll save my stress because <laughs> i got a little bit of buffer for stress and we might need it in a bit just in case what are the rules here if we get a six it's a success with no complications if we get a four yep. or a five it's a success with complications yeah is that the idea Okay, yeah, I'll I'll sit back on this one. So five dice, five dice. Here we go. Big bucks, no whammies. Five ones. Well, okay, you got a five. That's yeah, that's all right. I mean, okay, so you're gonna do it. Um, tell me how it goes goes down. I'm like, I turn to you like, I got this team. I know how we can get them to stop without having to hurt anybody else, without having to brain fry anybody else. Watch this. <laughs> So first, Who's done enough mean? damage? <laughs> who got brain fried? <laughs> well, I was thinking of the guy who we had the hounds catch. Who got? Oh fired. yeah. Yeah, we've done about a lot of bad things. Yeah, I put on. The, I want to get out. Put on the hollow projector collar. I feel like it's a collar because then yeah. projects downward for the body and upward for the face. And I'm like, now, however, the problem is I don't sound like Doctor Tarsus. But we know what Doctor Tarsus sounds like. So let me hack my deck in to my temple jack. And then I, another one lead out. You need out any help column. with the hacking? I think I'm good, bud. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I might. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna say I might need some help, but you're a little too stressed to help, probably. <laughs> um, you find some YouTube videos. Be very careful. I, like I have to like, I have to like crack off one of the panels on the collar, you know, mm. to get to the internals to hack it, and uh, put a couple of like alligator clip leads in there, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever the equivalent of that is in this time period. Uh, and then we pull up, uh, the, you know, quick, do a quick search, pull down all the sources we can for Dr. Tarsus audio oh, yeah. to reference. I like to imagine the <laughs> audio you... glitching the hell out until it settles in on him. Are voice. you only allowed to use phrases that she's actually said before? <laughs> no, because, you know, the AI can 
take the yeah. vowels okay. and the consonants. And I would like to go to the supermarket. I do think yeah, exactly. There may be a chance that every now and then a word might come out a little weird. You know, <laughs> just some emphasis. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Or right. you're very good job. at hacking. So I am very um, good at hacking. Cool. So I think. Uh, one of the complications is that as you as you finish it up, um, you hear them kind of like <coughs> locking and loading and uh, coming out the door and they're taking off down the tunnel. So you're going to have to get their attention. And we don't know where they're going or where Dr. Tarsus is. Is that correct? Correct. Or if she's real. <laughs> yeah, well, shouldn't seem to have an idea. But, <laughs> right. that's not but we don't know. I'm saying so we don't know. We couldn't like head them off by going. Right. We don't know where they're going at this point. Yeah. Um, I guess I guess Peter couldn't have the drone follow him because it's up in the vents and they're heading somewhere else. Yeah, he'll probably be away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so um, definitely. You have, you, have, you have plenty of time to like go. Hey, uh, guys, right. I'm rescued. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's that's the plan. Yeah. Um, you know, not a well thought out plan, but it's his plan. That's you. <laughs> uh, like, oh, thank God, I found you. <laughs> I do think, yeah. I, I mean, I try if I have time, I try to as quickly as possible bust into room and be like, I don't think that trip would be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, if you're just gonna bust out, you'll probably meet them on the platform. So they're like, um, you know. Um, <laughs> As the drivers all ninja up, just like flat black. Um, again, Mr. Slippery's got his shades and his uh, like a weird poly alloy <laughs> jacket, and his he doesn't have his butterfly knife out, uh, but he's super cool. And uh, wow. Ocean like just looks amazing. Always, uh, <laughs> she is. Uh, she is just like decked out. Like people are gonna recognize her, so she knows like. I'm just gonna dress up like like I'm doing a fucking show because who knows when I'm gonna be called on, right? Um, so she's like all out, um, and so they run out, you run out, and I think I think acid drivers up front, and uh, they're just like put their hands out and stare at you for a second. <laughs> Uh, where are Numerius and Melan and Zigzag? I imagine they were coming. A lot, like I, I would guess the plan is they are the team that got to me first and rescued me. Which is what I was thinking our plan of action would be. Okay. Huh. Yeah. You guys. Okay I would definitely be like boasting to Oshun. That's gonna be hard for me since. Well, I guess it's not aggressive to do that necessarily. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just tag along. That's fine. Yeah, and if we make it an empathy sort of play or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, so static. Yeah. What do you say to uh, static or as a driver? I'm afraid uh, you weren't the fastest team. I mean, you don't think you were the only team hired to rescue me, do you? Rescue you? <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling that was Heath. Had a feeling that was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These 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 guys rescued you. Yes, they rescued me. And as the driver just kind of like, uh, she's like kind of um. Oh, don't uh, tell me your deaf, fixer service. Daft Daft Punk a little bit, and but like as much as they can, kind of like sigh dejectedly. <laughs> <laughs> Acting That's through the mask. <laughs> um. Uh, go ahead. What were you gonna say? That's because. I was like, you, you, why? You seem surprised at that. I hope you weren't. There's been rumors of some less than scrupulous fixers not being honest with their teams lately. I hope you weren't the subject of one of those ruses. Um, and uh, acid driver like pops her visor open um, and just like looks you in the eye. She's like, Doc, I didn't. I didn't expect to find you first. <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, she goes, pop! And to, uh, they look like, um, like they're uh, like 
nail guns kind of oh no um, they pop out of her her wrists and she just goes Grrr! um and sort of stops in the middle where you are and uh <laughs> uh ocean pops back into the room where they were in but as a driver like reaches in his pockets and he's looking like he's gonna start running at you um i think the other uh consequence is uh taking a little bit of harm here um okay. uh static is uh, or dr tarsus is the <laughs> main target of this attack oh, um wow. it's gonna be uh, i think at this distance it's gonna be uh because it's like a little flechette gun so uh it's gonna be uh level one harm unless you want to resist uh and I, I was resisting entail i don't remember um resist means that you are let me double check here um, in the rules tab. Mm, oh, uh, I have so, two more things I could have. Yeah. Wow. Good time to have um, them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Special so grenade. when you when you resist, um, you uh, pick an approach and roll that many die. Uh, if you, uh, and then basically, uh, I can say in the. <laughs> um, Maybe I'll so basically get a medical the, kit. The the uh, damage doesn't happen, um, but you will take stress for it. But so, I, uh, so wait, we're to resist, I don't have to mark stress to act to try to resist. No, you're going to uh, roll to resist. Um, trying to find the actual thing here, resistance. Um, so you're gonna pick aggression, smartness, empathy, or caution. Uh, roll that many dice. Uh, if you get a six, um, you're good. You just mark one stress. Uh, four or five, you're going to mark two stress. One to three, mm -hmm. you're going to mark three stress. Uh, if you roll a crit, you'll clear two stress. Um, but which, whichever way it happens, you're not going to take the damage. And does the approach, like, again, say I wanted to use smartness, do I have to think of a, a, a way to resist that falls under that? Yeah, just tell me how okay. that, what that looks like. All right. Uh, anything but a six is going to get you overloaded, looks like. Oh, oh, you no. could just take the damage. Uh, which just, yeah, I mean, you're right. Yeah, I should probably just do that. Because, well, well uh, or yeah. Had... I'll take a, I'll get a medical. We would take three stress. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I'm on the wrong tab. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, use all your stuff. Cool. Yeah, if you had an extra slot, you could mark off heavy armor and have that taken. No. Looks uh, like you're all full up. I'm all filled up, buddy. I already had some armor that I marked off. Um, cool. So do you want uh, want harm or roll for resistance? And I'd just be taking uh, level one harm? Yeah, and just write uh, one shot, shot by acid driver. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. Cool. Um, cool. So she nails you. It's, like, it's a bunch of like needles, like little steel needles, just like... <laughs> Um, what do the rest of you do as uh, she continues to fire and uh, Mr. Slippery slips towards you? Oh, man. Is there anything useful? I can't do anything aggressive. <laughs> I'm, wondering, I'm wondering if there's some kind of shield I have. Like, I, I have two more slots. And I'm wondering if maybe I have, like, a little... Um, Personal shield, I can sit down. Just, mm. Is it is it that the damage is ongoing, or I'd like to stop the damage? Maybe a smoke bomb, please. Oh yeah, Ooh, maybe yeah. I have a I, maybe I have a smoke bomb. That seems very mailman. Um, Zigzag is also present, and he is probably also going to respond. Um, oh yeah, you, you can you can probably use him to uh, help your role if you want to, or he can do uh, something on his own. Uh, he doesn't like getting shot at, so. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to hurt him anymore. <laughs> God, I'm starting to untwist this all in my brain. So they were <laughs> hired yeah, they to were kill the Tarsus. Game. Yeah. But we were hired to stop them from killing Tarsus to th while thinking that we were stopping them from rescuing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's take let's take a five minute break. All right. Good time. I'm gonna It'll be enough uh, time to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Commercial. Uh, cool. And we'll All come right. back in five.
Lunchables, so good. <laughs> Two of the chickens were, I think they got to a fight with the other ones and they were sleeping outside on the roost. <laughs> the oh, no. died and everyone was looking at each other. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken drama. drama yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> by stun gun for amazing performance everyone's all back up are you talking about our chickens that were sitting on the couch <laughs> yep. There's like two groups of girls fighting in a sleepover. In the dog house. <laughs> We're sleeping on the couch. Ch chickens <laughs> in the dog house. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Getting shot at. Um, acid drivers spraying you with flechettes. And uh, Mr. Slippery is uh, making a move toward the group. Um, like, kill that guy. Respond. <laughs> and um, have a gun. I may regret this later, as I <laughs> yes. probably with everything. But obviously, their intention is to kill Dr. Tarsus. I am going to be oh. dead. <laughs> oh. Cool. You can also so take, fall down? take the disguise off. Well, yeah, but then I, I thought about that too. But then I just, uh, then A, it doesn't guarantee they still wouldn't try to kill us. And B, then so they us. would still be on the mission to kill Dr. Tarsus dead. Yep. So they probably this... want me dead anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm so just going just to gonna be dead. Fall down? All right. I don't know if my <laughs> disguise has this ability. Uh, I'll leave it. But if so, I'm definitely going to try and make my wounds look far, <laughs> far worse than they are. So <laughs> it's been... like, apparently, are that I am dead. There's I'm a flip so in her eye. Just they're, X's. they're not great. So X's um, in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. I'm gonna have you roll for that after uh, Numerius and Mailman do something. Uh, what would y'all like to do, if anything? Uh, I'm trying to think if I can do anything useful right now. Because I can't do anything aggressive. Oh, yeah? I don't have any combat abilities. Do I oh, still yeah. have I don't still have the automatic rifle with the grenade launcher, right? I gave that back to Zigzag. Zigzag has that. Well, see, I thought it would might affect their actions because, like, if this all goes down, they get shot, and they see me go down, dead shot. That they might, that might, I mean, they might, they might attack back, or they might try to grab me and run. I don't know what they try, but I thought it might affect I, I don't think the scenario. Yeah, I don't think they've noticed Zigzag yet, so um, that may affect what you try, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking that Mailman has the Tommy gun, mm. but I'm not great with weapons, and I pro I probably have uh, I have two more slots, so I could like have a med kit and maybe a smoke bomb, so I could like stop the the aim being good, but that doesn't really solve problems long term. Which is kind of a mailman <laughs> way of doing things. <laughs> I think, I think Numerius is just gonna try and find cover right now. That's fair. <laughs> like, what if mailman also had this disguise kit, and then we have all the Tarsus is. Oh, Meta Tarsus. Meta Tarsus. <laughs> that is it. I can't make that make sense, but I want it to. Um, it, would it would take some time to rig up, too. So, yeah. Not, not a thing to do in the middle of a firefight. And I have a, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't have, most of my stuff involves like crying. <laughs> have you tried cry flirting? Try cry flirting is really my big thing. And I had my moment earlier. 
<laughs> um, okay, so uh, Manly, are you running for cover, chilling out? I think I got a smoke bomb. I'm gonna. Uh, awesome. <laughs> or either have yeah. I imagine that smoke. I imagine I have like either smoke bomb or like a little personal shield. But I have armor already. Yeah, smoke bomb. Okay, I'm just gonna smoke bomb. Cool. I figure that's a, a very mailman thing. I'm gonna put that uh, as special grenade. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, and you have two uses, grenade. two uses of that. It looks like so you'll you'll have another smoke bomb if you want one. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I'll probably need that. Um, so <laughs> what what is your intended uh, effect with the smoke bomb? Just to like confuse to, them so they can hit you or get away? Yeah, just or... to, to really mess up their aim so okay. that we can get cover and uh, regroup. <laughs> cool. Um, do you think that is smart or cautious? Like feels cautious. cautious. Okay. Um, mm, I think smart would be, do think never would be doing any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't done a lot of leaning on smartness for our approach. Are you saying what my skills are that are with this? Yeah, what skill do you think I want to use for that? Uh, I wish I had survival. Why don't I have survival? Endurance. <laughs> No, this is maybe this is maybe streetwise. Yeah, I'll buy that. Okay. Um, that doesn't feel super strong, but so I'll, you, I'll take what uh, I can get. One for caution, one for streetwise, one for the grenade. It's three dice. Um, do you want to push? No. Or does someone want to help? Um, oh. You can pull in Zigzag to help if you want. Since he's if there. If I push, I get two, and then I'm almost overloaded. Yep. You can have zigzag help for free since he's there. If you want to use him for that. Yeah. What What would he do to help? Um, if you're trying to fuck up their aim and get, you know, get them uh, go for cover, I think his help with that is opening up with his machine gun. Cover fire. Which, Maybe he'll cover. Yeah. Yeah. Cover just provide cover fire. I was I gonna say. That. I feel like yeah. he's definitely make use of that Tommy gun he has. Yeah. Or whatever yeah. he has. Got. I mean, it's a, like this, it's like a, he has a, a wait. What was it again? It's it a real gun. Cybernetic AR with a oh, grenade right. launcher on it. Yeah. With a grenade launcher. Yeah. Numerius yeah. briefly had and gave back. Oh, so oh, cover oh. grenades. Yeah. I, I think you just see like spray. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Okay. So he can cover me while I I kind of stay to launch the smoke bob while everyone else is trying to run for cover. Is Static still nice. pretending to be dead? Maybe he's mm -hmm. pretending to be dead and we're dragging him off. <laughs> he's not just staying there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Numerius can maybe can drag static off. Yeah, Let's roll and see what finds out. I know what happens. Yeah, roll and find out. Okay. Um, so this is going to be. I don't I think, think standard and standard. Is that four? Is so, that four dice? Yeah, four dice. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Smoke bob. Everybody just play dead. I'm sure they'll just walk away and leave us alone then, right? Yeah. This is super super good smoke bob. Six, five, five, and four. Nice. Um, cool. So uh, Very you good. pop a smoke bomb. Um, Got confetti, glitter. <laughs> um, Zigzag opens up with his machine gun and you hear uh, acid driver yell fucking run for cover. Um, <laughs> yeah. You can't you can't see where she is or they are. Um, uh, Mr. Slippery has okay. come up on you. No. Um, and he, uh, like, you drop the smoke bomb and everything's all smoky and there's gunfire all around you. And, like, in the in the smoke, uh, you kind of, like, see him, like, slide up in front of you. Oh, and no. And he pulls out his, he, like, no. like, no one fucking takes a job for me. And he goes to stab you. And the right side of his face just comes off because uh, from one of Zigzag's bullets. And uh, he goes down in a heap in front of you, a big bloody mess. Oh, I think he's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I take his butterfly knife. <laughs> probably also wise for you to hit the deck since uh, Zigzag is <laughs> firing through the smoke. <laughs> but to be clear, can I take his sunglasses too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's only one eye left, but <laughs> you, you can have his sunglasses. It's now a sun monocle. 
Yeah, yeah I take his sunglasses and his butterfly knife, and I interested. <laughs> They're kind of gross, but um... <laughs> it's it's more about the statement. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with this. Just peeing on a corpse, really. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, teabagging him. You're teabagging him. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, waiting. Static. Uh, are you still playing dead, or are you doing something else? I'm dead. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm dead. Who refuses awesome. to stop playing dead. Um, so as the drivers off, Dr. Tarsus go down. So you hear them yell, stop, 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 hold fire, hold fire. We can talk this out. Tarsus is dead. We don't need any more any more trouble. We'll just walk away. I'm sorry about your job, but it's just business. Are we cool? Uh, I think... I mean, oh, we're not cool. <laughs> oh, oh, sure, sure. No, I think uh, you that's, that's mailman would, be, would instinctively be cool with it, but mailman may have other plans. <laughs> uh, but mailman probably wouldn't would speak up. I think mailman is mailman's still basking and having a but still playing with the butterfly knife. <laughs> ow, ow, fuck. Okay. Ow, ow. Right. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. really know. Ow, ow. <laughs> These are harder to use than you think. Ow. <laughs> Gonna have to put a point into your close combat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah, gonna uh, away if we want to agree. Uh, Zigzag has stopped firing uh, and he's waiting on you for what to do as the smoke kind oh. of yeah. starts to like blow away a little bit. And I think Numerius wants to try and take the deal and just be like, yes, you walk away, we walk away, we don't cross paths again. <laughs> okay. Um, so the, the smoke clears a little bit uh, Numerius is blown away on the floor um, you, you still want to do the like make it extra gory oh stat for yeah. static yeah yeah. I mean I, I basically my yeah, yeah my goal was to a yes yes because uh, cool. two things one just trying to firmly establish I'm definitely dead there's no chance <laughs> I was just wounded like, oh, I must still be alive. Pump him a couple more times. Like, no, I'm dead. Let's shut to the uh, eye. <laughs> and if possible, uh, again, I don't really know the, the realms of possibility here. Um, hopefully, maybe may being enough of a mess that they couldn't take me if they, you know, you'd be like, well, we can't take uh, that. It's just kind of goopy or whatever. Um, cool. Uh, so you, you want to like just make it gross enough so that they know you're dead and they don't try to take you if that's their deal. Yeah, um, that was kind of my intent in that. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do that with smartness, that sounds good to me. Um, that feels like streetwise, but if you want to make an argument for something else, um, or even survival, like <laughs> I mean, oh, survival is more like getting stuff done. Maybe, um, but I mean, uh, yeah. So you'd be rolling question. with three dice, question. two for smartness and one for the <laughs> dice. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm good with that because I don't really know okay. what it, I can't really think of anything like better would fall under or anything like that. All right. Yeah, it's um, kind of weird. I think it's standard, standard. So we'll let's okay. see what happens. Okay, blammo, that's what happens. I didn't <laughs> label it. Check that shit. Out. Whoa, critical. Check uh, that level. shit. Oh my God. Out. <laughs> um, yeah, super so gory. It is super, super gory. Um, <laughs> but not too gory because yeah. she do, did just hit you with flechettes. Yeah. Um, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no, wasn't just exactly like a shooting at you. So she, she's not movie. like, there's no way I could have done that much damage that fast. <laughs> she's like, that is an appropriate amount of damage. And holy fuck, am I sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, as far as. As far as she can, or they're concerned, um, you're super dead, not coming back, not <laughs> worth rescuing. Um, and uh, so, as, as the driver sort of kind of like comes out of the nook where the stairs up are, and kind of like, I think she, they even like give you a tap with the foot, and like, um... it's pretty convincing. And they're like, all right, we just had to stop you. We didn't have to kill her. And we didn't have to kill any of you, and you didn't have to fucking kill Slippery. <laughs> uh, and do you need a driver? <laughs> they just look at Mailman like, "Yeah, I found a driver." You know these guys? Do you want to? 
run off with one of our cars again? Well, nah, I like my new my new friends are nice <laughs> to me. My new friends are nicer to me. You stole you stole the car with the stuff in it. Yeah. I, that was not nice. Uh, are we gonna do this here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm so, so just just so Bob, I can. Bob, I use the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to roll. Give me one to roll. I don't want to be in this. Uh, I think I, I think as driver just wants to clarify, like, look, just for our employer's sake, so we know what to say. I, I you know, I wasn't expecting to kill Ocean, or uh, I wasn't expecting to kill uh, Tarsus, but here we are. I just wanted to stop you from getting her in the first place. We were too slow, I guess. And Ocean was wrong about where she was. So <laughs> I don't know why you're here. But, but uh, rescue aborted, I guess, right? He's been uh, throwing the smoke bomb on the ground. This whole time. Just bounces back. Just bounces back. <laughs> just bounces, like just trying to disappear. Uh, and o Ocean pops her pops her head out of the room and kind of like once she sees that the ghost is tense but clear pops out. Oh man. Um, um I think she's uh like you can there's a little flashing uh light by her eye, you know she's uh <laughs> recording this whole scene for um this A is... her their employer and B maybe a music video. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm also this guessing is... that like I'm guessing that Numerius and Mailman also like don't know that I'm not gooey dead. Oh yeah, 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 they, to yeah they totally think you're dead. Oh, they were in shock. Yeah. This is kind of like uh, Peter's character in Trophy Dark. <laughs> I feel like Mailman is that of this game. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! Oh yeah. <laughs> you know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we're mostly concerned that static is real dead i have a med kit i think maybe i try to use that on him um yeah if you want to pop up a med kit uh you can well i mean totally the other team is still around immediately right? yeah you, yeah you, you can totally tell immediately that oh static so maybe we dead. okay so we know but, that he's like but i don't want to just give that away so. if, if you pop out the med kit, yeah yeah i'm not gonna do it yet Sperry's dead. Yeah, yeah. static well, is dead. Slippery's dead. Okay, so we don't know anything. About, well, yeah. I figure well, we, we want to get them out of here so they can't see through the disguise. Yeah, maybe we say, well, our employer does want the body, so we'll take the body. Fair enough. It's not going to get us paid anymore, so... <laughs> um and i guess can we uh, ask them about who they were working for because i'm like way more curious about this mystery of like why <laughs> i want to know who's behind all this oh yeah, yeah. mailman doesn't um, mailman just wants to <laughs> get out of here <laughs> uh are you are you gonna ask them or do you want to i don't think mailman would i think mailman is just like just trying to Mailman is not interested in the conspiracy Probably not. Um, I think I think uh, as driver thinks that you brought them here because this is the <laughs> the gang's the gang's old hideout kind of. Oh no! Um, yeah. So as driver's like, well, thanks for burning our thanks for burning our uh, you know, safe house. <laughs> well, you shouldn't hide in a house where one person knows that's not there anymore. We, th we thought you didn't Smoke want anything to do with us. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Bounces on the floor. Again. This is one of my duds. <laughs> cool oh, hand looking the bomb. Do the butterfly um, knife and cut myself a little. Yeah. So they're both like, we don't need we don't need slippery. Um, I guess we're both getting paid double. So if there's nothing else, we're gonna walk that way. Uh, you can walk the other way, and we'll be done. Deal. Deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot! If you ever want to hang out, let me know. <laughs> uh, and she walks away. Just flounces away. 
<laughs> she 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 likes to play hard to get. Um and uh yeah, like she she gave me some kind of like you don't leave you don't lose her down the tunnel for quite some time. Um, <laughs> as, uh, as acid diver like disappears into the shadows immediately um, and you don't know where they are uh, but yeah o- ocean takes a while to disappear down there you hear uh you hear music start up after a few hundred feet um, <laughs> and then, it's uh, like in a music they're, video then they're gone what now i hope we're in a music video now <laughs> <laughs> I feel like like I definitely would continue to play dead till I knew we were somewhere safe. Like, and I knew we wouldn't be seen Mailman by the other team. Like, I don't know if they I don't know if they take my body into another room or what. But like, Mailman is crying. Yes, we have to incinerate it now. <laughs> yeah. Mailman is don't. crying over Static's dead body right now. <laughs> yeah, Andy Mary's um, like, Mailman, we gotta go. We gotta get out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss him so much. It's not safe here. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, oh, it's like wanted- just like. Yo, like it's probably a good time to leave right now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Leave, leave static. They're gone. We're I'm a new get... static. Look, or no, static I guess you're the new static. And a pretty good hacker, but we can't. Yeah, go. I hear you're a fine hacker, so you'll you'll grow under the shoes, I guess. <laughs> as far as far as we know, that other are, as far can I tell? Do I know that like that other team is basically gone? Oh now yeah, they're gone. Here? They're gone. Gone. Yeah. I feel like that's the point at which I would deactivate the skies and sit up and go. And that's how you do that. Jesus ah! fuck! God damn it! Oh, what? <laughs> I almost shot you again. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. is like, ah, <laughs> I, dr- I do accidentally drop the butterfly knife into like a, le- a leg or something. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where's that med kit? <laughs> <laughs> now I need that med kit. So now technically... We should be able to get paid for our job. We haven't done our job. We did. Maybe? We stopped. We stopped the. Uh, I mean, well, what well, we, stopped we were the rest hired team. to do. <laughs> do we know if we're, that's the only team, though. We no, haven't see, even seen Doctor Tarsus. I mean, that's uh, again. Yeah, we. The question is, like, do we even try to get paid, or we know our we know our fixers? Yeah, fucking with us we, somehow. What if we try to get paid right now? <laughs> sure. Want to get up with a? Yeah, uh, like, hey boss, mi- we finished the job. Mixed like, Johnson. We, we 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 uh, the other team is no Don't longer after Doctor Tarsus because they think Doctor Tarsus is dead. Yeah. And you should call Do- John's daughter as Dr. Tarsus as a prank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you going to call from? Do we like? <laughs> Cap um, Caps. Cap Caps. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed there anymore. <laughs> Our faces are posted on the front. Oh, <laughs> do not serve. You can't let us keep us out forever. This is going to be like last Christmas. I know. We're, we're, we can't go back to the factory. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yeah, they're looking for numerius there. Uh, it sounds like the machine room is our only, it's our new haven. Uh, maybe this, I mean? is our new, this is our new hideout. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. our hideout now. Yeah. I want to make, I make sure to get my goddamn drone back as well. Let's say, and mailman is showing them around the hideout like a little kid showing like a treehouse. Oh, and know this, this, place is, this is yeah. where the secret, this is where we keep all the candy. <laughs> And uh, that's where I sit. And that's where (laughs) she. (laughs) And that's where mice come in sometimes. They're really cute. (laughs) Anyway, this is our place. Yeah, but I mean, you know, same problem you mentioned about you knowing about it when they were in the hideout. If we use our hideout, we know that they know about it. Oh, good point. I mean, well, it's probably fine make, for the moment, at least. But we can make the call from here, at least. That would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not a long-term hideout, but for a short-term hideout, probably good. Yeah. And they probably don't want to be anywhere near it right yeah. now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a gooey Dr. Tarsus there, as far as they know. There is. Oh, God. <laughs> gooey Dr. Tarsus is the name of our band. Um, okay. I have a good picture for the for the fixer. Let me get that. Are we getting a new entry in the 
Oh, I thought we already had one. Where are we done? Gooey Dr. Tarsus, Dr. Tarsus, it's a gooey Dr. Tarsus. <laughs> oh, 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 Dr. Tarsus. It's a gooey Dr. Tarsus. <laughs> it's really catchy. It's just yeah. rewriting Rock Me Amadeus. Too big. <laughs> oh, but you can do a, if you have the image URL, you can do an equal image. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to drop it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and I need to look fine. at this page more. I never look at this page. It's far too amusing to not be looking at. Um, cool. So uh, who's calling? I feel like. <laughs> <Tony. it. laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Zigzag. <laughs> I just saw Antonio. Antonio. On the page there. Antonio is my best friend. Antonio, <laughs> did they hurt you? <laughs> oh, I did. I misspelled my name. I've been mailman this whole time. Mailman. 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 It's a spelling problem today. Mom is no more, more. is soldier so okay yeah we should probably oh. think about this and formulate a plan because i still i like i still don't really understand <laughs> what's going on oh oh static probably wants to figure out what's going on the old man doesn't care so yeah, i am I not i'm not sure <laughs> well how would we best approach so we were hired to make sure dr tarsus was not rescued rescued we haven't found anyone trying to rescue dr tarsus Exactly. We found one team that was also trying to prevent a rescue and one team that was trying to kill Dr. Tarsus. <laughs> right. I wonder if we should try to find Dr. Tarsus and see what she thinks about all of this. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, you know, you mentioned as a joke, like if there's any angle that would be beneficial to us to the, me being disguised as Dr. Tarsus, like you know, if, if I, don't, I don't know if that would help us because that would not help in regards to the original mission we were hired for as far as preventing the rescue. But we could report to the fixer that we have gone rogue, kidnapped Dr. Tarsus ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe we could we could figure out like why they didn't want that by threatening that that's happened. But then they yeah. have they have Tarsus actual. That's true. I mean, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, they, they probably Dr. have Tarsus? the actual Dr. Tarsus. Yeah. Oh, you mean that's fake? That's a fake Tarsus one. Perfect. We left that one. <laughs> Ask her to turn her holograph collar off. <laughs> <laughs> Ripper, so we don't oh, know. peel her skin we, off her face. We don't know that they have the actual doc. Like uh, uh, the, uh, the fixer who hired us might yeah. not actually have Dr. the doctor. Tarsus is real. Yeah, my name is real. Could be an AI. Oh Maybe um, they're trying to keep us busy while something else is happening. <laughs> I mean, I can think of an approach that's amusing. I don't know that it's <laughs> smart. <laughs> Or accomplishes anything because I just don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't here. know if, if any of us have ever led with that during this whole game. But that has been an it's kind of piggybacking, piggybacking off of Peter's ruse that we have kidnapped, kidnapped Dr. Dr. Tarsus. Tarsus. And maybe we've kidnapped Dr. Tarsus because we've met up with the other team who was trying to take us out, who was also hired to rescue Dr. Tarsus. So we know something, we know some, the fixer is fucking with us somehow. So we kidnapped Dr. Tarsus as collateral to be like, <laughs> you tell us what the fuck's going let's, on or we're let's taking get Dr. Tarsus out. I do have an idea. Um, I mean, you're gonna need to cover a zigzag cut, so. Yeah. Static, what if you call in as Dr. Tarsus? Right. And just say that like, oh, what would we say here? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, get a, just ask for an update. <laughs> um oh, Actually, yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And then right. and then <laughs> and then if you need to cry. <laughs> and then I'll cry flirt. Yeah. I got, a, yeah, I got a list of things you can try. This, and then make up an imaginary work, best friend, Antonio, can be there for you if you need. This sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> yeah, call us Dr. Tarsus and ask for an update. 
Okay, we gotta think all the angles. So let's say <laughs> flawless. I don't see this, what the problem is. Because if our fix our fix are hired us to prevent our tartar system, so let's just say let's 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 just say for the sake of argument that our our fixer who hired us actually is anti-Dr. Tarsus somehow. And either wanted Dr. Tarsus dead or not rescued or whatever. If that was the case, then I would be calling and they would be like, fuck, it's Dr. Tarsus. We don't like Dr. Tarsus. So then Or we've kidnapped Dr. Tarsus. And then well, what I think yeah. you do is explain is try and convince the fixer that there are wheels within wheels here that the fixer doesn't understand. Yeah, that they're not in control. <laughs> Look, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's what do you the thought dump. the kidnapping was real? <laughs> you were fooled too. Uh, so who's calling? Static. Dr. Tarsus. I mean, Dr. Uh, Dr. Tarsus. but uh, calling as so Dr. Tarsus? the question being, are we calling as a team? like the team is involved? And Dr. Has... Tarsus should call, and right. if it gets hairy, we can pretend to have kidnapped you if we need to. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's you know what. Let's play. Yeah, Fine. Yeah. Antonio is also here if we need him. <laughs> Enough of all this thinking. Let's just. Yeah. I was like, this this amount of thinking does not represent the amount of thinking yeah. this uh, this runner team does. Time to be rash and impulsive again. <laughs> yes, um, I'm cool. As Doctor Char says, I'm calling our fixer who hires. And this does cool. feel like the aggressive tack that Static would be <laughs> this taking does. at this point. <laughs> Let's um, take the fight to them. Sweet. Uh, John Stoddard picks up, looks confused for a moment. <laughs> and uh, so this is a, like a, a VR call or just a, on the on the deck or what is, what's the call? Uh, whatever, I mean, do, whatever our normal, I mean, how would we be calling? Yeah, probably just normally. like a video call, right? Yeah. On the on the deck. If we um, completed the mission or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. So uh, John Stoddard picks up and like you, you've worked with John Stoddard a couple of times. Um, and this is the first time you've seen like confusion on their <laughs> face. Does they expect us to be alive. Um, and they're like, how did you get this number? Who is this? I got this number from one of the team members that you sent. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, really? You're gonna play dumb, are you? So uh, this call is over. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, do, do I have time as a, as a, as a, I don't know if say I have Say something to, fast if you want to say something. Uh, <laughs> this call well, I was going to say, I, I was wondering if I, if I had the power to hack so they couldn't. In the Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's better. you absolutely I, can. I can pitch in with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's better than what I had. Um, that. that is definitely smartness, unless you want it to be aggressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always all about the smartness. That's the reason I took three and, two smart. and smarts. Um, smart. So that's going to be two, two, five. That's going to be five dice right there. Um, I think that's going to be great effect um, with uh, low danger. I think it's going to be one. one Let's danger. just go with that then. I'll yeah, that. I like it. Yeah, that's different right. than we usually do. Let's try that. <laughs> Nice, critical. Wow. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, so I, th I think that means that not only do you uh, do you prevent the call from hanging up, uh, and they look like concerned as it's not going on, um, but I think it also gives you limited access to their deck. Oh no! Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I, th I think I think they realize that like they're locked out of their deck for a second. <laughs> And just say, "All right, you have my attention." What do you? No want? one hangs up on me. Ooh. On Doctor Tar. I mean, I could walk away, but <laughs> I'm intrigued oh, yeah. now. Um, I feel like yeah, if I have access to a deck, I'd be trying to browse through and see what I can glean as far as the communications they've had with. You know, do I see communications with just other teams or with Doctor A Doctor Tarsus or uh, what um, I can you, glean you from? See, you see, um, so there's like, um, mm -hmm. it's not a job board, but um, <laughs> just uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> but uh, yes. but uh, they basically picked up a job <laughs> from like someone else contacted them, said, 
hey, I need you to do, find a team for me. I don't find teams. I just need this rescue not to happen. And they gave the job to John Stoddard to give to someone. Um, so uh, the, um, and it's, you know, from a, you know, black site encrypted address, uh, but that's how this generally works. Uh, they don't, they don't know who it is. They don't know who you are. It, no one gets paid, no one gets hurt. Um, I mean, so a lot of see... people got hurt. I don't know. So, <laughs> so from yeah. what I can see, the fixer did, as far as the fixer is concerned, they were actually hiring us to prevent the rescue. Yeah. So, I, so, so that's something. Like, steal all of their Bitcoin. <laughs> you got to find their boss and then talk to their boss and then talk to their boss. Yeah, well, as you're saying, sadly, that's uh, such a, such a, there's, there's uh, things in place so that you can't do that. Everybody stays very anonymous. Hmm. Um, so I guess You've got 30 seconds before I wipe this deck and walk away with, with them then. Can't, can, do I have control from the deck to uh, take their funds? <laughs> um, probably not. I, I think you could browse, use that like use that one uh, crit for getting that information. But. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Like, look. All I want to know is why you would hire a team to prevent me from being rescued. Now, what do we Sorry, do? Who are you? <sighs> I work with a lot of teams. You have to help me out here. I uh, on a, on an impulse, I grab mailman and pull mailman into frame. Oh, Dr. Remember? Tarsus. Yes, I'm Dr. Tarsus. Well, um, so wait, did um, are do you have you captured the team that was sent to prevent your rescue? What's yes, what do you captured. what do you want? Okay, I well just uh, want that to know saves me some money then. Why? You hired these people to prevent my rescue. And incidentally, they met another team that was hired to take them out who was because they were supposed to supposedly prevent my rescue. You don't know anything about that? That's if you can help me unwind this tale, I would be ever so grateful to you. Doctor, I understand that you're a corporate worker and you don't understand the intricacies and vagaries of this line of work. So I'm gonna put it in simple, small words for you. People hire me to find people to do bad things to people like you. Is a, is um <gasps> is the deck like, can I tell you, is this person, is this person like holding their deck? Um, it's on a desk. It's on a desk? Yeah. Um, and you can see from the background, like they've got some kind of nice place somewhere. They, uh, being a fixer is pretty good work. I should get that job instead of this one. Can I? Is there something I could do to deduce their location of their deck? Ooh. Um, no. Yeah, they definitely have it like way firewalled off. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. That's that's part of their big deal. I'm open to suggestions. I don't really. I don't know if I can know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> or what I even want to do? What I'm trying to? What do I hope to that accomplish? That's all here? I had to. That or pretending that we had captured you and trying to get the money. <laughs> right. So mailman. Um, can I speak to Mailman for a moment? Absolutely. <laughs> mailman, is anyone else left on the team besides you? Yeah. <laughs> you very shuffles there. into frame. <laughs> Great. And Antonio's um, here. And static. you want to see your team? Hold on. I'll, I'll step out of frame. I don't, I go I step don't know. Out of frame to zigzag. Let... And I shoot, don't know any of these people. And no shoot is not on our team yet, but like I, yeah, I, I will, she gave me a, just... a look, so maybe she'd join us later. I like I step. Don't. I'll step out to let the rest of the team step in, and when I step out, I'll turn off the disguise and come back in. <laughs> come back in. <laughs> it's static. Yeah. Yeah, we're all still alive. Static is oh. wearing the same clothes as Doctor Tarsus. The team is all right. You've picked up uh, another runner and the sack of potatoes. It looks like. And That's a Tony. Doctor. Yeah. Look, I mean, I'm we sorry were... for whatever trauma you've suffered to make you think that. So. I'm trying to understand what you want from me now. It seems that well, we you thought have, maybe you were fucking us. It seems that you have rescued the person that you were supposed to not rescue. <laughs> well, we is that can, what happens? We stopped her from being well, rescued yeah. by anyone else. Well, now we have control of the outcome. We, but there we wanted to talk to you because we were under the impression maybe you'd fucked us because we found another team 
who was also trying to prevent the rescue, who was trying to take us out. The but it looks like easy, you weren't involved in that. If the easiest I were to do way that, to that would the ruin rescue my reputation. Do a, a, All right. a kidnapping. Then let me ask you this. What do we need to do at this point to get paid? <laughs> Prevent your target's target from re-entering her normal life, I suppose. Is there a timeline on this? A deadline? <laughs> That was not the job. Not I mean, just a ever, I would rescued. imagine. So if Dr. Tarsus were to disappear, would that fulfill your, your, your? That would fulfill the contract. I'm sorry, Dr. Tarsus, if you're still there. Do we pretend to shoot Dr. Tarsus? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, walk, I'll walk back out. And, and back in. <laughs> I'm sorry to have become, to do this. Dr. Tarsus again. Like, wait, now hold stab, on. Stab, I thought, stab, I thought, stab, I thought, stab. I thought, I thought you'd rescued me. Stab, I stab, butterfly knife flip. Butterfly knife flip. Bitch. Butterfly knife flip. I'm flip. bleeding out of my neck. My neck's cut. <laughs> my jugular <laughs> spurting. Smoke bob. I think Zig Zag's uh, in the background just being like, <laughs> I did not. I just came here to get just paid. like putting a knife in someone's like armpit. I, if if this was a television show, this episode would be titled "The Many Deaths of Doctor Tarsus." <laughs> um, I think I think after a while, Zig Zag, like, mailman whispers figures it, says, it out and just really is like, right. like, okay, and just like shoots at the wall. <laughs> like, yeah, die, motherfucker, <laughs> eat, eat it. <laughs> Okay, cool. And then after I've fallen out of the frame dead and bloody, I'll come back in and static. <laughs> so can we get paid now? <laughs> well, um, can I just get another uh, visual of the body so I can take a oh, snapshot from my bitch. employer? Absolutely. And, One second. Go, hold on. Yeah, and I think jiggle, jiggle the camera, muscles you know. in. It's like giving us all of these steps to <laughs> look. I understand. I just need, but, I just need confirmation for my clients. I feel like you never trusted us, and that's while really... he's doing that. I'll come back to <laughs> if I trusted bloody. you, I would not be in this job. I'm, I'm not right. very experienced. I trust you to do what you're gooey, supposed Dr. to do. Tarsus. <laughs> so yeah, you hear like a <laughs> click screenshot, like. All right, that appears to be Dr. Tarsus out of the equation. So um, it appears our business here is done. Uh, here's Why did we do any of the parts of this? <laughs> Why did we not just start with that? <laughs> well, I love that what, what they see at the end will, will correlate with what the other team reports back up the chain. So that if they're like comparing data from the two sources, it's like, yeah, there, there we go. Meanwhile, That's Dr. Because Tarsus we're is living living her life <laughs> Dr. Tarsus like, was never kidnapped <laughs> she's getting groceries um so enough money comes into your accounts uh uh mailman you're able to set yourself up with a, a life that is not a runner um <coughs> numerous you can put yourself up in a fancy place and uh static you're able to buy your agency back from whoever put a, a bug in your brain <laughs> Um, John's yeah. daughter signs off and says, all right, um, this was a very lucrative job. Um, if you ever need my services again, I'll let you know. We should do all the jobs. Well, I'm out. We all should do all the jobs and, and just use that disguise kit. Why did we do any of the work? <laughs> I lost a drone. My very, I lost, I lost Weevil. You got, you can buy so many drones. Yeah, now. you can get new, better. You can get your Eagle drone now. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle drone. <laughs> Carry people on. I know. <laughs> as a matter of fact, you can get a drone that can like, you know, appear as like 10 different birds. With their yeah, calls. Man, the <clears throat> Today it's going to be a grackle. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, you're underground. Um, but tell, tell me your epilogues. Oh, geez. Uh, do you give Zigzag some money? I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, there's I, there's I, enough I, money that yeah. yeah and he doesn't know how much you're getting paid anyway so he'll exactly. whether he's taken he's taken zigzag helped out deserves to be paid 
I was and seeing we, that going on to like a saintly life helping the needy yeah. somewhere. No. It starts, it starts an orphanage. <laughs> yeah. uh, mailman, what happens to you after uh, you leave the train station? Uh, mailman, so mailman is out of the corporate life and just fucking lives it up for a while is like just sitting on the beach so happy awesome. uh new marius with antonio on upgrade, the beach like... it's, it's a it's a shot of a mailman and antonio <laughs> like with sunglasses on on the beach yeah and i think it's just like a matching shot of new marius up on a balcony looking down on like the layer of smog and the cityscape perfect it's a uh, static colorful drink <laughs> Um, well, considering that my angle was always, uh, I, I'm going to make up what it means now, which is that uh, uh, in my brain, uh, uh -huh. someone had put some sort of like uh, shunt in your cyberware so that they could take control of you if they uh, needed to. Uh, but if you have something else, uh, it's oh your, well, I'm not going to piggyback on that and be like, I yeah. feel like I feel like it was the agency that did that, mm -hmm. and uh, now I have the money to afford the other two best hackers in the world just as to myself between the three of us it out. we can kick the plan and we take numerous. down we take down the agency and the agency is now no Ooh. Uh, there is where, no more agency where where is the where is the agency and what does the end of that job look like for you like where are you physically uh i feel like in, in just a, like i know we're in a in in my background in, in the cyber layer because we all it's nice. all it's all cybernetic and together Take three of us because you know we have to approach and break through different firewalls and come at them in different right. directions and stuff. Nice. And eventually we get there and uh, com completely we we uh, neutralize the, the basically wipe their entire system. Awesome. Which um, um, yeah yeah. So uh, as we see the celebration of that, you've taken everything down. The the agency is out. Um, all of your lights and electronics <laughs> flicker, um, mm -hmm. and your screens fuzz out first. Um, all the lights go down at dark for a moment, and then your emergency lights come up, and the, like the air is kind of like filtering dust down. Um, and I think there's like a split screen of mailman on the beach looking out the horizon, uh, and Numerius on the roof of some fancy place looking out a horizon. And on the horizon, there's just like a bright flash of light in both places, <laughs> in two different places, um, and. Uh, you're going to need those sunglasses, no oh, man. Is that Dr. Um, Tarsus? I think as, <laughs> as the camera sort of pulls back on that, you see uh, like the uh, United States at night with just these like blossoms of light popping up over everywhere uh, and uh, fade out to uh, we'll meet again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> At the end. Hey. Um, was making you want to hear the real plan that was going on? Yeah. Yes, I'm I so curious. <laughs> um, so I stopped uh, trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Dr. Tarsus uh, was not kidnapped. She uh, kidnapped herself and found uh, some lair. I had it in a abandoned power station. Um, <laughs> if you if you wound up there, you didn't. That's fine. Um, and she was working on some uh, big project. Um, it attracted the attention of the corporate that she kind of defected from. And so she set up uh, not an AI, but a, a set of autonomous agents to uh, create an Ouroboros of runners to take out whoever's trying to rescue her. So you're, mm -hmm. you're right. Uh, the people trying to take you out, but you were trying to rescue her. You were trying to take out someone who was trying to yeah. take out someone who they thought was going to rescue. Um, so both to throw up a smoke screen and just sort of like clog the hacker nets so that if anyone did try to rescue her, it would, they, would, they would just be stepping into a giant clusterfuck already. Um, <laughs> I made a pick, pick table of the things that she could be working on. Um, oh, no. And the thing that happened was that uh, she uh, was working on setting off all the old nukes that were just sitting there in silos, yep. not being used. Oh, to, that's our uh, fault. Yep. To yeah, get that's rid on us. Of, uh, that's get on rid us. Of old munitions and uh, just, you know, 
show people that's not a good idea to leave toys lying around, I guess. <laughs> um, the other one, we learned the other our lesson. Were, uh, shutting down the the runner nets because hiring people to do crime is bad. Um, transferring money I from agree. the corporation and every other corporation to the underclass was another one. <laughs> so there were um, a lot of things. That, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of things. It could have been better than nuking everything. Um, could have yeah, hit the legal one. nets with a tangle while consolidating. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, bring all yeah, corporate. Uh, set up a feedback worm that it destroys the entire power grid. Um, blow out the entire net, including blowing out everyone's cyberware everywhere. Ah. Um, oh. Or kick off an AI cascade that puts uh, the AIs in control of government and corporate networks uh, <laughs> because they're better leaders than humans are. Oh, but no, <laughs> that's none of Thanks that. Happens. <laughs> boom, 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 everywhere. <laughs> of course, because even when we win, we can't win. <laughs> you could have, you could have won. <laughs> we we, we got to have a good. I we feel got like, to yeah. I feel yeah. yeah I was like, I don't that, think Mailman is actually <laughs> curious about the conspiracy. I think he just wanted out. <laughs> yeah, if you had actually taken out Doctor Tarsus, that would have been. <laughs> that's fine you weren't getting paid to do that we were <laughs> yeah yeah i think that it feels very true what we did <laughs> it's really interesting having like a little framework to run off of i'm not i'm used to just making everything up and i just had to make most things up. oh right. so, interesting. <laughs> like i know like there's something happening in the background that's kicking off all of this stuff and i have like yeah. a couple set pieces to throw you at if you wind up there, but if you don't, then we end up in either fine. of those places. <laughs> yeah, the, the only place you didn't uh, wind up was the uh, the power plant. The power plant. Uh, We're yeah, not yeah. curious. And the, uh, the curious in all the wrong, uh, all the directions, orthogonal to. Yes. Uh, it's a it's an old power plant that still has generators running, but uh, she can only connect to the network when they're off because of the EM interference. Oh. So yeah. when you get there, whatever fuckery happens, whatever uh, the scene is. Um, there's a countdown clock to all of them shutting down. And when the clock goes off, then her thing goes off. Oh, so, no. That's a fun scene. That sounds really stressful. I'm glad we didn't do it. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would have been really stressful. Much more fun to put on Disguise and Play Dead. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that all worked out. We got to kill Mr. Slippery. <laughs> and, you know, I love, I love when game mechanics serendipitously work out like a story like getting two crits at the climax of the story yeah <laughs> i just love that somewhere in the background of this story there is a team reporting back to dr tarsus <laughs> that dr tarsus is dead <laughs> and no multiple she's teams gotten all of these teams <laughs> i did I wonder one, one, I, of her, one of her bots is going like yeah this one did it what the fuck do you mean they did it <laughs> i did wonder if that's at me some point, like, you shot if, me <laughs> if at some point our fixer would somehow learn that dr tarsus was alive and be like yeah what the god damn it i paid you <laughs> probably i mean back? They they got their cut. You got your cut. Everything's fine as far as yeah. They concerned. probably didn't care. But yeah, I bet Doctor Tarsus is really confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, there's so Dr. many Tarsus obituaries is, running right Dr. now. Doctor Tarsus me. is like seeing these files of her dead. Going, what? That's, <laughs> that's the fucking third one. God damn it! Like a burn after reading sort of thing. <laughs> Where are they getting <laughs> all these disguise from kids this? from? Don't do this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did we learn from this? Uh, don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's I'm just super punk. I'm super just punk. glad my my play possum ploy worked. That's good. Very satisfying. And, and then a lot some. of possum. There was a couple possum times. <laughs> yeah, we we did a lot of good uh, acting. Our characters did a lot of good, good acting. <laughs> Instead uh, of like, you know, killing everybody, it's like, no, I'm just gonna be dead. Yeah. <laughs> this this uh the mechanics None of us are were fighters. Because like it's it's very close to other Blades in the Dark type games that use this framework. Um, but like the ones that I've seen, the one I ones that I played, like if you're rolling three dice, like that's really, really good. And you've worked for those three dice. Oh, like this wow. one just like throw so many dice at you I'm like okay yeah you y'all are really good at this so fuck yeah you do it <laughs> although we needed them a lot or yeah, I right. them a lot of time where it was like yeah, uh... yeah i remember last game i there was like but some rule where i had five dice and they all fucking sucked <laughs> <laughs> 
It'll have like, to do. One, two, two, one, three. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Do all do most blades in the dark systems have this sense of accumulated damage? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um the, the one I'm playing now is a Star Wars hack called Stars in the Dark. Uh, and we're a team of criminals operating on level 3113 on Coruscant. Never mm-hmm. seen the sun. Um, and yeah, so we're like, we have uh, someone who gives us jobs. Um, one of them got killed off, so we had to find a new patron. Um, and like, we're like fighting stormtroopers and fighting other crime syndicates and Mm. Shit, shit keeps happening and like rolls add up and then you like get stressed and you have to uh, so they, there's a the thing that's missing from this game is most Blades in the Dark games have a downtime uh, system oh, okay, yeah. so like you do a mission and then there's downtime so you're like yeah. do a mission use up your shit get stressed out take damage um, and, and then there's fallout from the mission itself so you have a wanted level that goes up. You have yeah, yeah. A, a reputation that goes up or down. Um, and you're like trying to make your gang bigger and bigger. Um, but there's also uh, like blowback from it. So it's like, oh, some other crime lord noticed you or the cops are onto you or mm. one of your guys. This tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to fucking talk to our fucking Jawa demolition because he's been talking shit about us and giving us a bad reputation so I gotta kick his ass in a bar or something so that like <laughs> leads to something else um, but then in downtime everyone has vices so you can indulge your vice to bring your stress down or you can do oh, reactions yeah. to like uh because it has you know, it's longer term so you get xp and you can increase your skills and get new shit um so the downtime is really interesting because that's just like the, the mission is like do the mission go in bam 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 and then downtime is like Let's hang out and role play our like yeah. going going to the crack den or oh. going to the shock boxing ring or hanging out with this person's kid or uh, <laughs> so it's it's a really yeah. neat mix of like not tactical but like mechanical yeah. crunchy mission driven stuff with like all these like really nicely woven threads of opportunities to role play mm. um, it, but the the harm and everything does build up until you're just like well, I guess we're going to jail <laughs> <laughs> everybody. <laughs> I was talking about you, Mark, today to a friend of mine who, a real good friend, I haven't seen him in years, but he lives in Dallas. Because I saw him, and because he was talking about like this D and D campaign he was he was making up, and and this group he used to have, but he was like talking about, yeah, yeah, I'm making this campaign, but I think I'm going to change it. And I'm going to like make it a no initiative type system, blah blah blah. And it just got me talking. I was like, I was mentioning you because it's, he's it's like we talked. It sounded like he was doing the classic thing of taking D&D and then trying to make it into a better game that he wanted to play in different ways and like you know there's other systems you could play someone <laughs> did that work already like <laughs> <laughs> instead there's of taking D&D like, and then trying yeah. to hammer it in what you want it to be there's stuff that's super close to D&D which is like <laughs> different initiative just, or whatever <laughs> I was just talking to my com- uh my committee member who's also a good friend of mine who's in social work and she teaches the um foundations of social justice class to all the social workers uh that come through ut and she was like oh i need a game where people are because she has she has them Mm. build like imaginary cities and i was telling her about the quiet year and Mm -hmm. she's going to adapt it for her course (laughs) she was like oh yeah this is the perfect mechanic like this is kind (laughs) of what i have them do already (laughs) oh cool Uh, there's a there's another hack of a quiet year where you're uh actually uh monsters like inhabiting a location but it's like you're like trolls and goblins and whatever but it's like you are building a community of uh, of marginalized and oppressed people (laughs) monsters uh so it's like oh oh boy yeah that's Mm, yeah that's that's rough she does it to do some teaching of systems theory where it's like all these idealistic undergrads who are like, yeah, we're going to have free healthcare and all this and all this. And she's like, cool, cool, cool. But like, how does that happen? Or yeah. if they're like, oh, we don't have any crime because we just kick everyone out. And then she connects all the cities. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, you guys who have been kicking out all of your murderers, now everyone else is getting them. <laughs> and they're upset with you. <laughs> now what do yeah. you do? Now a murder city is connected to your now city. Murder city. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Mark, uh, is your star is your Star Wars campaign on Twitch anywhere? 
Um, we record them and put them on YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, cool. So they all of them are on uh, uh, on Dish's YouTube, but I have them on a playlist on mine. It's Stars in the Dark. So cool. if you want to watch uh, 30 or 40 hours of us playing <laughs> Star Wars, <laughs> it is there. Stars in the Dark. The only option is to watch all of it, but as if we would not watch <laughs> That's tiny all you can it. do. You need if to you start, start it, you can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm, I'm looking at another game i'm reading another game right now called uh feather beak and bone uh it's a city building game or they call it a city city labeling game um because you basically like, take a map and then build out the city um and everyone's crows i think uh, <laughs> so it looks um really, i would play that pretty great yeah <laughs> um i've got i've got Very a few other city gather shiny games. thing mechanic <laughs> maybe yeah oh and there's also uh did somebody say street magic is another city like very poorly named but oh, okay. memorable <laughs> like i think it's based on like a quote from david blaine or something but the game is just like a really cool city building game <laughs> oh <laughs> so like, i guess street Ma oh street magic i get it you're got oh it. god oh god not street magic but yeah magic building streets got it um uh, that's a really good one there's there's another really good city building game who's has like a one syllable one word name uh, escapes me I'll, I'll look it up it's like C city <laughs> but like something like that blarg <laughs> here's your next challenge mark put out, put out a series of games with just like one name exclamatory titles have nothing to do with the game blarg our score <laughs> splat challenge accepted <laughs> screak once you're done with your wordle map making <laughs> i think i'm so most i'm at a i'm at a stopping point i think the next step is to have it uh look at the things and like generate uh points of interest and maybe some encounters or locations on it so like every map will have like four to six places of, like that's the hill of Whatever five letter letter word so was that cool. day. Maybe I, I I say this as someone uh, with no idea of the uh, technical specifications to do something like this, <laughs> but just to purely in a brainstorming capacity, maybe you could take each of the incorrect guessed letters. So every letter I've guessed that was wrong, that generates a monster. Make it a monster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right so, now they just generate wasteland. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's great though. And see like which and it could yeah. start with that letter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't get the letters from the from the blocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I could make it like depending on like oh, how that's many true. Yeah. how many greens and greens and yellows are in like the column or row, like make oh, it. Oh, that's right, because you're just analyzing the basically what's in the yeah. shit you copy and paste. Yeah, mm -hmm. the only thing I get is yeah. the word number. Uh, how many guesses they took and the five by six grid right. yeah uh, with mm -hmm. zero one or two in it but that's enough to do some cool stuff <laughs> it's so cool yeah i was thinking it'd be i was thinking if you could see their keyboard and see like what they'd guessed and not guessed yeah or whatever. yeah huh. that'd be cool hmm. I got a domain name for it. It's wordle.me now. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go to my GitHub anymore. But five bucks to get that domain. So I'm like, yeah, I'll let it sit there for a year. Wait, wordle.me or hexel.me? Oh, hexel.me. Hexel I was going to say, oh, okay. I, I was like, uh, are you trolling the wordle cookie? Nope, no. Nope, Do you, no, you no. buy wordle.me? <laughs> now we're just a, put some. Just got a five dollar DLC in app purchase. We're gonna put hey, some ads on it. We're gonna make a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, nah. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so I'll probably poke at that off and on, but it's pretty. It looks pretty nice now too. Well, I will be putting in even more hours on Spirit Fair. <laughs> Woohoo! That a Steam game was it? That is, I, I was joking about it earlier as a combination of you must build a boat and the good place because you are, you are taking over as somebody who ferries people for, through the land of the dead to their eventual <gasps> end. Um, that looks really good. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, yeah. And it's just this beautiful, very melancholy story about That's dealing with the end of things. Spirit Last fairy? Time I it wasn't oh, fair. Mac. Oh, yes. Yeah. I finally was getting back into the 
VR. I played Job Simulator. Oh, cool. I just started playing it the other day. It's it's fine so hmm. far. It's fine, but it was it's, like, it's, oh, it was, it was I like, this would be more puzzles, but it's more like... Yeah, well, it got such great... I think I expected more of it, too, because it got such great reviews. People were like, oh, it's going to be fucking great. And I started playing, I was like, all right. I mean, I'm... I mean, it, it was out of this world like two years ago so i mean yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's i also bad. have, I like, have, uh, I have vacation things. simulator as well mm-hmm. which was i guess the sequel to that yeah this is fun to try but it's not mind-blowing it is fun i mean the most fun for me was like and i think this is the way they designed it is just the fucking around and finding things you can do that are unexpected mm-hmm. and you're like oh yeah. that was kind of cool i didn't do that yeah you know, like, i need to try that some more I like I Xeroxed every possible. I Xeroxed my own head. I Xeroxed. <laughs> I was like, what happens if I put my face in a Xerox machine? And push I just Xerox? took all the donuts and threw them everywhere. Yeah. I had a big, messy <laughs> office. Did you eat the bad donut out of the trash? Yeah. Yeah, where you get to vomit on people. That's fun. Yeah. I to vomit. <laughs> That's fun. A lot of fun stuff like that. Yeah, it's like throwing things that, I mean, if any of you learned that, the, VR is uh, one of the things they build into games because most satisfying is just the being able to throw things at things all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> there is a yeah, there's like a, a fun emotional component. There is. I did that when I was playing. I expect you to die. It was just so satisfying just to be constantly. Mm-hmm. I could just be sitting at my desk going, "I'm just gonna pick that and throw it over there, and pick that up and throw it over here." And as soon as I'm done this, I throw it over here because I don't care. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> done with something. I would just throw it out. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing the. Uh, Cubism, cubism. Oh yeah, cubism. 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 Yeah, yeah. where you like take the Tetris piece and I'm like I don't need this anymore. Oh, oh that sounds cool. Back. Okay, fine. My <laughs> <laughs> clothes back. I don't want you. <laughs> okay, you go here. <laughs> well, the good thing I expect you to die. I feel like they did it perfectly because like you, you can throw stuff anywhere, but then part of the game is you also you have a telekinesis ability. So like yeah, anything you see, you can point at it and then woo pull it to you mm. so you're never like you've never no that's not true i did maybe not they, they do a real good job at making it so you can't fuck yourself and be like oh yeah. i threw a mission critical item out of the train and now i can't finish you know whatever you know i need and a then, pile of mail yeah <laughs> and the same with like the way you know when things fall behind other things and they have that blueprint there you can see it behind the other thing and still mm. like point at it, and pull it oh, man. i still need to i mean i've only played through the first thing and i expect you to die i need to keep going with that mm. yeah i haven't played that one yet yeah i finished um, i think i've yeah. i've hundred percented both of them minus the speed runs oh yeah which i yeah. Th- i thought i was gonna do and then i did a speed run and was like oh i fucking ace still seven seconds over okay fuck you no i'm done <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> because like i fucking aced that i think like, it is kind of satisfying because once you've done a level and you know how it goes, it is kind of fun. It's like, all right, here we go. Bam, do that, do that. Grab Optimize that, everything. Thing, thing, here, so that, that, that. But then, yeah, even times when I was like, I really thought I just lightning sped through that and it still was not fast enough. I'm like, nope, I'm done then. I'm not trying that anymore. Yeah. But the rest of it was fun. I do like the, uh, I didn't have to look up too many of souvenirs. There were a couple I had to look up. You know, I like the way you can like, the title is basically a clue on how to oh. get the souvenir because you can look at the end screen it shows you souvenirs and which ones you have and don't mm. but it doesn't tell you how to get them but the title is always like kind of a clue we go okay oh, nice yeah. what would that title have to do with yeah, yeah you know and that helps you figure out but there's definitely a couple that i once i looked up I was like yeah okay no. i would have never guessed this <laughs> most of them are i think doable and and satisfying when you find, like ah oh, all right that was it i got it but yeah a couple of them i was like find... oh sorry how do you find out when the games are on sale do you, are there like newsletters for that um or you just look i yeah, on, i just know well, it yeah i i had like what as a steam user i put them on my wish list and then if they go on sale oh, I get right, yeah from that. Oh. I forgot that Steam connects. Yeah, that's how I find my Steam games on sale. So I'll do that mm. with Oculus too. Yeah, that, that's happened to me. I put stuff on and repeatedly get emails. Hey, a game on your wishes is on sale. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cool. I'll get it. I just grabbed. Uh, was it 
Y N G L E T. Um, it's by someone who did some other cool games. Oh, what were they? Um, it's a small, it's like a five dollar indie game. It's got like vector graphics, and you're like a weird <laughs> jellyfish that jumps oh, around. Yeah. I don't know. It looks really cool. Looking yeah. at it now. Yeah, that five bucks. I'll list. take it. <laughs> I like being a jellyfish. I have to get back to up, Griftlands cool. at some point. Try to play some more of that. I've still never played past like day two. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. good game. I think I came to Griftlands after being so addicted to Slay the Spire that I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, how do I maximize <laughs> yeah. my more things? <laughs> Sure, there's a story here, but how do I get the most points for the most level? <laughs> then I started playing Dicey Dungeons, which is the like dice-based rogue shuffler from the guy who made, I think, Super Hexagon. Oh, nice. Um, which is silly and totally easy until the the difficulty level just hockey sticks into <laughs> the air. Like, oh, I feel like that, yeah. That's how I feel about it. Got it. At least in my first playthrough, <laughs> that's how I felt about Beat Saber. I was like, oh, wow. early on, I, I was felt like, that way I'm a Saber. golden god. And then yeah. suddenly around level 10, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> how I felt. I stopped playing it because I was like, I no longer feel very cool. And that was the reason yeah. I was playing this. Yeah, for like the first, especially like the first, I don't know, I don't remember, first five, six, I was just like, oh, man, I'm just like a fucking Jedi. I'm so I'm good. so cool. And then suddenly things get real hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I just picked wanna... it up again. I was like, oh, yeah. I play, did I play this on a harder expert? Ah, probably expert. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. He did not play this on expert. I, I don't see oh, how you can di- move your arms that fast. <laughs> There's a even, difficulty even level hard in Hard oh, yeah. difficult, too. Yeah. Are you going through the, the campaign mode first? Yeah. 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 I think you go through that and then it opens up the whole like. Or I think you just go into solo mode and then it'll give you the list of all the things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have yeah, not I played on hardest. But is there, there's a difficulty in the campaign? Yeah. Well, I, not in the campaign because the campaigns are all like, do this specific thing. Yeah, okay. That's all yeah, I've done. But in the regular ones. Yeah, yeah. And there's like, there's the, the difficulties and there's like two sabers, one saber, like 360. So you can, they're like, they oh, come at wow. you from different directions. Oh, shit. It's super cool. Oh. It's real good. Yeah, no, I haven't ever, because I, uh, I never finished the campaign, so I've never Mark's done anything really else yet. It. Yeah, I'm. I am good at it. I, I've seen good. people who are real good in there. In well, that's just it, like some of the videos I see. I'm just like, that is no way. I, what the fuck? How does anybody do that? Yeah. Unless you can, can, is there like a mode where you can practice it at half speed and oh, yeah, memorize so. it? Yeah, you can. See, I, that's the only way I can see you do it is like but play it I, over and over again. You literally got can't move my hands that fast for like, <laughs> I don't know. There's no way. Even if like yeah. I completely memorize, I just can't Holy physically shit. move that fast. Damn. Yeah, I've been doing that for exercises. Like put it on a pretty hard one for like 10 minutes and then just like, Okay, cool. Sit, let's sit down. <laughs> not yeah, not yeah, moving yeah. for a while. Yeah, you'll work up yeah. a sweat playing some Beat Saber for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get Nicole playing golf. Oh, so golf, yeah, golf, golf. that's just, oh. I usually dance during that time. I'm so pissed. Uh, I, have to I think miss I'm tomorrow. not dancing tomorrow. So hmm. I wanted to play golf. Room. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll come play tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, oh, come on in. Nice. Yeah. How many well, people can that accommodate? Yeah. I don't even remember. Five. Five. Five that's right. Yeah. Man. So I only need to kill one person. Yeah. Yeah. Because my check out so here is at noon. We have, so. we have oh. three right now. <laughs> okay, good. So. For now. I was trying to figure out if I could make it work, but I'm like, well, I could play. I have check out at noon, so it's not really enough time to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there's always next week. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I love, I love that fucking yeah. golf game. Yeah. It's, it's so, so nice. Like, it's just so like deceptively simple i get or the other way it's like very simple but like extremely well done and like yeah not not simple to make like it's, yeah yeah it seems like it takes a lot of effort to make it that nice it's in the neighborhood but qualitatively different from 11 where it's just yeah. like no we're just gonna set up ping pong and it'll be really really good uh like that the, the the golf game at does that we will get the physics perfect and we will do amazing design work on yeah pretty, it's just yeah, yeah the, to me the visuals are so pretty yeah through. and that's yeah, one of the things like i really like so about, so nice 
Yeah. And I, I feel like all the easy courses were, were really good looking, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the hard courses are even more breathtaking. I remember someone mm -hmm. was like, whoa, this is mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And I'm, I played through all the easies and I played through like the first three or four hard courses. Mm. And um, yeah, those hard ones, sometimes I'm just like, there, there's a lot of max stroke holes on those hard ones. Yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah. but then it's even more like when I do get like a par or a birdie, I'm like, fuck it, I'm the golden or guy. a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last, was it was it Peter that got it? The, At Shangri La, the, yeah, yeah, uh, the one where you can't see the hole from yeah, the, the golf. Oh, like, that's right. Yeah, the tee, the tee is up here, and then it's like a pit that is like a mile down and there's fog and branches and then it's like inside like a bell at the bottom of the pit and the ball and like bounces like, around bump, 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 hole in one <laughs> <Still shot>. okay <laughs> yeah that's yeah. The bounce yeah, super well designed I'm, I'm so excited to see what they come up with next <laughs> that's why i made that's that's the game I haven't felt too much like motion sickness or anything, but I yeah. I would get motion sick in that game when I was marathoning, trying to find mm. all the balls and get all the putters. <laughs> because like, yeah, yeah. When you're just playing golf, I don't get sick. But when you're looking for hidden balls, so you're constantly like, looking around and flying up. Yeah. And, flying around, and it's, yeah. And flying it's not meant fast. for that. So like the side to side is so jerky. And so it's like, well, maybe I'll turn on the smooth motion. I'm like, oh God, that's worse. No, smooth motion. And you turn so slow. I'm like, oh, oh, I'll turn yeah. it back to jerky motion. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a vexing thing in um, what is it in Rec Room? They have a laser oh, tag oh, game. It makes me feel sick in that I one. Can't play that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Where it's like, if you do the teleporting motion, you don't get sick, but you move really slow and get oh. shot and killed immediately. Oh. If you do the smooth motion you can move around much faster but you have to have like an iron <laughs> inner oh, wow. ear against the nausea. yeah that's not mine i didn't get that with the uh oh, the the enders game one where it's like the zero gravity thing and is that, the, oh, is that echo, echo VR? Flux. yeah because like you're like pushing off against the wall and flying through the thing and like grabbing a uh, ball and hitting someone else and yeah like it, it's basically the game for ender's game um, oh cool and i did oh, not I feel sick connection. at all uh it was cool. super good because yeah. i guess it feels like more like you're floating because it's zero it's zero g so maybe my yeah. brain is like you're not supposed yeah. to feel yeah, right. <laughs> yeah well that's what's weird like, we've just like of expectations I, I don't recall ever feeling sick other than when i was doing the uh the ball and putter hunts in golf yeah you have not tried just... the roller coaster games have you no i have not <laughs> tried the yeah no good uh, oh man well i'm also i think in this coming year i want to try and i have, still have my subscription to board game arena and i want to try out more oh. board games on that service yeah i really liked it i, I stopped my subscription just because none of us were playing there anymore so i was like well, yeah I might as well stop paying for it <laughs> Yeah, I had I'd a like subscription for like again. a year or whatever. Hmm. I'd be willing to do that. Oh, cool. Maybe yeah, I love I mean, hop in and play Love Letter or something. <laughs> yeah, that was really uh, fun when we did that. And that's where that's where we played. Is that where we played? Did we play Robo Rally in there or did we just do that with my actual Robo Rally copy? I think we played it in there, right? So hmm. I thought so. I thought we I did that in Board Game Arena. We did. I remember playing it. Yeah. I remember being really good at it. I thought, yeah, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure we played it virtually. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I think we did, yeah. Yeah, right. huh. Maybe on Tabletop Simulator? Or Maybe that yeah, simulator. that must have been it. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. What is your, I'm, I'm doing a search and seeing what is your favorite board game not on BGA? <laughs> I was just telling my friend about Robo Rally today. So I was like, oh, I love that game. Such a good game. <laughs> I haven't played that one. I have the board game and all the expansions. I have um, two editions of the board game. One with nice. pewter robots, little metal. Mine are pewter, yeah. Did they not always? <laughs> were they not all? No, they're robots? plastic now. Oh, Ooh, mine are not yeah. only pewter, but then I had my friend Andy paint them for me. I don't really do many. Paintings. Nice. And he does many paintings, so I had him paint them up for me. Oh, twonky! They keep adding games to BGA. <laughs> There's so many on it now. I think I had him paint him for me. Suddenly I'm second guessing. Did I have him paint him? I think I did. 
I'm, I'm just, I'm still scrolling and there's just row after row of <laughs> new games. Ah, well. Yeah, that was fun. Well, we still also, I mean, we talked about the new pandemic as well, right? Oh yeah, Pandemic Zero. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to play that at some point. Yeah, yeah I'd play too. that. Back to our roots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, I would have to see if I can find a uh, workshop copy of it. Yeah. I've got plenty of stuff to run in the meantime, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we should chat about what sort of things we might want to try. Yeah. Um, one, op I haven't read the whole game yet, but uh, there's a game uh, called... Fuck. Uh, Dungeons and the... Dragons. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Dungeons and uh, something. Uh, I think, uh, oh, it's called uh, The Between. Um, it is uh, hmm. by Jason Cordova, who wrote Brindlewood Bay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and kind of has the same uh, core as Brindlewood Bay, except it's like, um, you. Uh, it's basically uh, Penny Dreadful. You are uh, paranormal. Oh, uh, investing in their century. archetypes. Yeah, and you're like in this like, uh, you know, uh, club, ancient clubhouse in London or whatever, and there's, you know, uh, hmm. Jack the Ripper and werewolves and Frankenstein's <laughs> and Dracula's um, oh. and ghosts and stuff. And you like go as those hunters or whatever, you go out and, you know, solve those crimes that could overlap. Uh, yeah. And then, like come back to the house and like the house might be haunted or have some mystery. Um, <laughs> and you're not allowed, to, you're not allowed to talk about your character's backstory until it comes up mechanically. <laughs> like you use that as like a, like, oh, I need to get more dice, so I'll tell you about this thing that happened in my past. Oh, cool, um, cool. And there's there's some there's some really like really sweet mechanics in there um, that like definitely build onto Brindlewood in a super super cool way. So I'm I'm interested in a reading that and maybe playing it. Nice, hmm. cool. Um, I've also been nice. looking at uh, three sixteen, um, three sixteen. Um, Carnage Amongst the Stars. It's basically a Starship Troopers game. <laughs> oh. Super, super light. Yeah. Uh, super, super light, which is like killing aliens. And then if you play long enough, things happen. Um, but like the first session is just like, kill aliens. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, and then it gets dark from there. Uh, don't know anyone who's ever played a campaign of it, but just reading the book is like, oh, boob, that's going to get bad. <laughs> uh, what else do I have open right now? I beak feather. Love that you have like, usually have about 20 I'm like, PDFs. I'm just going to keep one PDF open. I have three open right now. So that's but closed. Oh, shit. I have, uh, there's a, oh, this is a journaling game. Uh, there's Neon Black, which is a full on cyberpunk Blades in the Dark. Um, through the void. What is that? No. Um, I just got the uh, the trophy. Uh, they released a book called Loom, which is just like a setting book, and but it's just like pages and pages of like D sixty six tables of like what's this city like? I don't know. Here are some like conflicting rumors about all this stuff. We're like, what are all these gods like? Oh, oh that who's was this cool. Up? And it's just beautiful. It's so good. So if if I wind up running more trophy stuff, there's so much good stuff in there. Talks all about the the painter guy. <laughs> there's, a, there's like five pages on him. So it's oh really yeah, good. we learned about the painter guy. <laughs> oh sorry, I one, zoned out for a second. Who's the painter guy? What was that? The one my character was determined on yeah. destroying oh, all his yeah, paintings. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> for good reason, it turns out, man. Oh, no. Yeah. He painted a mural on the on the ceiling of the like really shitty prison that everyone gets thrown into and never comes out. <laughs> and the worst punishment you can get is that put in room. a room, so you have to stare at it. Yeah. And no one comes out sane. <laughs> oh, oh, so man. good. Good to know my yeah, characters like... was had good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Shame he didn't make right it. Thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> the bees got him. The bees. The bees. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so plenty of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm always happy with like whatever 
with the next game just being a big shift from the previous genre. So the, mm -hmm. the between would work for that, I think. Yeah, have that. Now we'll run, you know, probably eight to 12 sessions just to get the whole oh, yeah. arc of it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Boys down Enjoy. with whatever. I just mm -hmm. like playing. <laughs> I'll take a look at it and see what goes. Cool. All right. You have it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do have it. Yes, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, in that case, uh, I'll see you next time. Let's see if Thank the you. chickens have made up. <laughs> yeah, see if the chickens are all oh, good. Yeah. Thank you for running this. Yeah. yeah thank you. Uh, I guess we'll see, see everyone with Heath tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Bye. Safe travels. Bye. Yeah, travel.